What's up? Hello, everyone. Oh, my goodness. This is a different view, right? You're Welcome confused. To our pajama party. This is a this is the first ever pajama party. First yep. ever, ever. And it's oh my goodness. It's we're already having fun. We've been having fun for the last couple of days, yeah. to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> let me know, everyone, because this is the first time I've set up at home. Yes, this is where we live. Um, so don't don't try to find where we are. You're not going to get here. Because it's a secret location. It's like the Fortress of Solitude. No one knows where it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know if the sound's okay. If the video's okay. If there's any problems, let me know. Because um, I'm not going to fix them. Because <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> but I, uh, we, At least we, we'll we, know for the future. Yeah, we'll know for the future. But uh, yeah, uh, where am I? I like that. Um, we got Jay and I. Where am I? Hi, this, Mom. Hi, Mom. Ma oh, Mom's here. Yay. Hello, Wait, Skeptic World. It? That's cool. All right, I'm gonna let you handle this because. Yeah, uh, uh, so anyway, tonight we have we, we have no format. No, this is almost gonna be like an open mic night, but kind of a discussion because we have Melanie Tresic Tresic King, sorry, and Anthony Tresic King, and then Donna's in the house on camera this time. Hi. Even though I probably won't be watching you, I can look up once more. And then me. Uh, so. We're gonna we're gonna have discussions. We have some things to talk about, and if you guys do have questions, uh, let me go. Let me go over the rules. Again, this is a little different for me because uh, right now we're staring at our big uh, what is this sixty five inch TV. We need one. It's we, really yes. big. We need one. You need. Can we discuss the Wait, need so for sixty five inch TV? Be standard. No, no. TV. We standard. have. It's like forty. Sta no. What? No. No. <laughs> what? No. No. Standard. Like, I, I would accept fifty-five. I mean, what is this like nineteen ninety-seven? Forty is for the bathroom, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. yes okay. Exactly. I mean, or the yeah. bedroom up the corner. Got it. Got ceiling. It. So sixty. Um, we need sixty-five. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Go with the rules. Um. So let me go with the rules here. Get them out of the way. Uh, Donna's gonna be out. <laughs> Donna's right. out of there. I'm so okay. rule number I'm one here. is that you are welcome to ask questions. Always. This is the kind of show where you learn. We learn. Um. Because we don't know everything. That's another rule. But. You can ask questions. We encourage it. It's cool. Uh, try to stay on topic um, if you can. Uh, but, you know, it's nice. Pretty much anything goes. Rule number two is that I don't know everything. And that's pretty apparent. I mean, if you've watched this show before, you know I don't know everything. And uh, my guests don't always know everything. And I do, though. Well, okay. We will test that. <laughs> we're going to test that. Hell yeah. Uh, we're going to test that. Um, rule number three three is that we follow the Patrick Swayze rule here. And if you are in the chat room, I encourage you be in the chat room, but you can discuss, you can debate, you can go back and forth. Um, you can argue your point and that's fine, but don't devolve into name calling or anything like that. Uh, we won't tolerate it. Uh, don't be a dick. That's pretty much what it comes down to. And if yeah. you are Donna, who is behind the rules, will boot your ass. Uh, you'll, you'll be out of here. Uh, <laughs> rule number four is that if you do have a question, please do us a favor, put a cue in front of it. That way Donna is uh, catches it easier and she can put it into queue so that we can get back to it uh, in a timely fashion. And we get to all the questions. And then lastly, rule number five is my favorite. So Drink let me up, take baby. this off, go back to our regular one and say cheers, cheers. because this is a clink. Cheers. And cheers. clink. Cheers. Oh. Air clink. Clinky. Yes. Clinky. Air clinky. Baby. Drink up. Mm. Mm. Now I'm going to go back to the comments so I can actually see what's going on. And here. we have a new beverage in the house tonight, guys. Oh, boy. Oh. Is this what, what Melanie you found oh. a new beverage at our local watering hole? Yes. <laughs> yeah, what, watering hole. Yes, yeah, our local man. watering hole. And it is made out of Angry Orchard cider. And a, it's a pint of cider, it said, and a shot. Right? Yes. A shot of um, Fireball. Ooh, I don't and like it, Fireball. Oh, my God. It's like drinking apple cider. It, mm. yeah. Really? Yeah, it's a little dangerous. Yeah, it's just... Mm. It's called it's an just, Angry Balls. By oh, the way. Angry Balls. <laughs> oh, yes, that's the name. Angry Balls. How appropriate, right? <laughs> oh, we should go through and Let's say hi to everybody. Here. Let's say hi to Bob. Damn it, Bob. Got your shirt on today. Yeah. <laughs> We got Jay, we got Robert, Kevin Kerr. What's up, buddy? Haven't seen you for a while. Good to see you. Hi, Mr. Kerr. We have uh, Glenda the Good Witch. Yes. Oh, my mother. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I love it. That's Glenda. great. Uh, what else? Uh, Jay. Carolyn. Carolyn. What's up, Carolyn? Amy. This is great. I love it. Daniel Reed. We know Daniel. 
good friends with Daniel. Jeez. Jay Kim's oh, in the well, house. He's a ghost already. Red. Uh, uh, <laughs> is it poo? Is it poo? Is it, <laughs> we, there's a lot of Easter eggs in this, so you know, feel free to pick it out. Yeah. Um, we have uh, Red Man's in the house. Uh, Ma- oh, Magna Ru. Magna Ru. Ru? Ru? Is I saying that right? Standards TV sizes. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> 32, yeah. 43, 55, 65. Yes. Thank you. I agree. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So and 65 I, is a suggestion. I got you. Thank 60, you. 65, yeah. I think. Is, you know, go big. Yeah. Go or big. don't go. Or, go, or, go or home. Don't, don't, yeah. <laughs> or or don't go home go. with your ball and cry. Yeah. Little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we got everybody. Um, oh, Dave Schumacher is in the house. What's up, Dave? Dave. Nice to see you. Uh... Uh, that's, I think we got everybody well, so far. Everybody that, everybody that commented. Because that's the only people I can say hi to if you yeah, comment if that I know you're here. watching, we can't see that you're there. So it's uh, always nice just to pop in and say hi. So the first topic I want to throw out there, uh, we, we, you, you, Sue, went on your first, first used to? Used, that's my Philly accent used coming to. up. Used the two Utes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys. You guys yeah. went on your first ghost hunt. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I wasn't really hunting. Well, but yes. Yeah. You were yes. in your first, first, ghost you, first time you were in a ghost adventure, a haunted yes. house. It's Correct. a ghost stakeout. Ghost steak, yes. stakeout. Yes. So we actually did stay at a haunted castle. Brian in Germany. made it home good. Haunted oh, this, um, oh, castle. Just, we're in between you guys. Go ahead. Um, but yeah, so this was our first official like stakeout in an attempt to find, to find ghosts. To find ghosts with the world's only full time independent, uh, no, sorry, paranormal no. researcher. Full time, full time, paranormal, paranormal investigator. 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 Chief happened? investigator. I have a badge that says so. Chief. Thanks, wait, John wait, Guy. What are yeah. we were supposed to Obi-Wan. call you, though? Like, oh, what's your my official, official title. My new official title for everyone that doesn't know is Dr. Bishop Jedi Knight Biddle. Yes. Because I have certificates that say so. Um, and, and, and I have need. my Doctor of Divinity, which you guys know, uh, who was in a recent article. Yeah, piss somebody off. Um, but uh, yeah, I know. Go figure. So yeah, you went. You went on a. a you went to this haunted house. We went to the Hinsdale house uh, because it's not that far. It's only about it's about an hour and twenty minutes or so away from here. So we went there. We got a um, kind of a tour uh we got a, some history we got some stories and then we were left alone uh so what, what do you think like first thoughts first impressions when well, we got there first impressions what what do you think i mean i am a sucker for old farmhouses in the country and okay. this checked all my boxes like beautiful night sky there was a pond there there was a forest behind it old house properly creepy yeah um I, I just had a ball and we had lots of beer and good conversations. We did. We did. We, we brought the spirits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, we brought our own. Anthony, what do you, what do you think? Uh, it was cool. I mean, it was just, yeah, the same thing. It was, it was, you know, it's a creepy house. Yeah. It's a house of disrepair it, with old furniture in it and, uh, you know, holes in the floor. It gives uh, you the vibe. And it, it, yeah. The vibes are definitely there. The okay. vibes are definitely there and it's, it's secluded. And so when you're out there, um, Like you don't see another car, uh, you don't hear anything else, um, which is actually quite nice because we're rarely in a place where we don't have lights or sound, right? And so, in one way, it's 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 quite refreshing and and invigorating to be in a space like that where you're away from Mm -hmm. everything else. Yeah. In another, it's creepy because you don't hear sound. Yeah. And it's like. There was wow. like birds and insects and stuff. That yeah, you awesome. hear yeah. things that you but don't But it's unsettling. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, well, for it depends on your perspective. I, I mean, if you grew up in the country like that, then that's normal. Yeah. But like we grew up in Philadelphia, in the yeah. city. Yeah. yeah and yeah, yeah. you guys are in, outside of Boston. Right. Right. right, right and right. and is that suburb? Suburb? Yeah, yeah where, where we are now. Yeah. But I mean, we, yeah, obviously. There's lots of old creepy houses. The, yeah. There's, yeah. I, it's, it's something, um, you know, about how we evolved and, and where we've come from and what, what we should be around. Um, right. It shouldn't be creepy. It should be normal, right? Right. The city is actually abnormal. It's it's yeah. Right. In, yeah. In one sense, yeah. <laughs> exactly. even though that we've come accustomed to it, so it's it's really quite nice to, like I said, be in a space where you don't have to worry about. I will say Princess Leia coming up. It's really yeah. Cool. People are missing her, so I gotta try to get her out. <laughs> people there miss Leia. It reminds me of that Friends episode. Every time I see that, um, with Phoebe. Um, 
Actually, I I appreciated the bars on the windows there, of the house yeah. because what I was actually afraid of were the human weirdos coming to look for ghosts. Right, because right. one of the things that we were told is that people like to come down. It is a well-known house, um, and it's well-known for, well, the reputation of being haunted. Um, so, yeah, the, the, the guide told us that you might want to be careful because people do come down the driveway and look. And occasionally it does. And it has done when I've, I've been there. Um, people have come down and I've taken the opportunity to greet them in only <laughs> the, the only way I could figure would be appropriate for coming to a haunted house. Let me guess. Um, mooning while twerking. Yes. Oh! Backwards. <laughs> um, Do I know, know Kenny or Going what? out like, like almost like. When you think about um, uh, Frankenstein, Frankenstein, um, Frankenstein, and Igor, wasn't it Igor, Igor or Igor? Igor. Was it? Eeyore. Now Eeyore is from Igor? Winnie the Pooh. Igor is no. Frankenstein's. Uh, I think it's assistant. Igor. 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 But when you did the the um um because it wasn't actually Frankenstein, it's the parody. Puppy power. Oh. 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 That's why I'm saying Frankenstein. Um, because they. It, Oh my God! Who was that? Gene. Gene. Uh, yes. Somebody put it back in the. Put Gene it, who? Yeah. Gene. Gene. Uh, oh my God. Oh, oh no. 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 I don't know. It's somebody. Somebody sentence, help us out. I know it ain't that. Um, help us. Help us in there. Uh, because it was. Yeah, well, it's funny. That guy. That was. Paul. Gene Wilder. Thank you, Gene Daniel. Wilder. There we yeah. go. Okay. There yeah. There we go. Oh, Gene, Wilder. Gene Wilder. Like, yeah, when he was like, Gene he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, oh, walk like, this way. And he goes like, yeah. yes. Yeah, and everybody else follows him like, oh, okay. Oh, and then yeah. they go up the steps doing the same thing. Young so, Frankenstein. Yeah. But yeah, that, that, that environment, um, that's, a, that's a good point because we're used to noises. Yeah. You know, I'm used yeah. to traffic yeah. and yep. people talking all the time. And to be in, when I went upstairs, finally go to sleep, it was like, so quiet. Yeah. I am bored out of my mind. Something's like. It makes me. It makes me more on edge. Yeah, because I'm waiting for something to happen. I'm, right. I'm used to noise and it's not there. Yep. Uh, so we got some. We got a little bit of history. We got some stories. Yep. What did you think of that part? Um, I thought. I mean, obviously, wanted to know history of the place. I purposefully didn't learn anything really about the house before we got there because I kind of wanted to go in um, without having my own expectations. Right. So I wanted to hear what uh, somebody else told me that I might expect okay. um, and the history behind the house that the, the history in particular that might be behind the the supposed haunting. Okay. So yeah, I appreciated that part of the. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what she was think? very lovely. She was a wonderful. She woman. was nice. She was very nice. Yes. Um, what did you think? What was your impression? Uh, I mean, it was fine. I, I wish I would have had more actual history versus mm -hmm. storytelling. Right. And it's just sort of like uh, it was, it wasn't quite in a sequence. It was just like random time order. So it's hard for me to kind of track the history of the space itself. Yes. Um, and so I, I was more confused, honestly, than okay. as, as opposed to like, oh, I have a sense of what is the reported history of the, of the right. house. We sort of we started with history, and then it was jumping from stories to stories, and we look at pictures. Yeah. Um, and 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 you know, I, it's fine, but I it. Obviously, she wasn't purposely trying to, you know, pull a ruse. I, I really feel like she had a, a a belief in the stories that she was telling, um, and and I could see how it could prime you to then, you know, when you're alone there at night, right. then hear things, see things, and associate those with the stories that you were told. Right. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. And that that to me, yeah, which is fine. I mean, I, I guess, but. Um, I would have loved to have more of a history, more of a, a linear, of a linear history, history of yeah. like here, then this, then this, then this, then this, then this. But the part while people were alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yes, yes. The, yeah. While people were alive, the people who actually lived in the house, um, and then why is it, you know, why did it become abandoned, you know, and mm -hmm. and, and and so on. So yeah, it, was, it, it is what it is. I agree. Yeah, yeah. The any one suggestion that we would make would be just have at least script out the history. Yeah, and have it ready. Um, yeah. So it's interlinear because yeah. yeah, like you said, it jumped, it kind of jumped back and forth. And at some and we asked some questions at several points, like are you talking about that guy or are you talking about this guy? Yeah. And who are we talking about? Yeah, she wasn't and, quite and, sure. And yeah. she 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 was like, Oh no, no, and she would correct herself, okay. but like we couldn't follow the we story. Were oh, um, okay. Yeah. And I knew some of the history already going in. So 
I kind of had an idea of what was being said and I could follow along better, but I was also getting confused. Mm. Um, so she showed, she showed us pictures. Um, yes. and that I was awesome. I do appreciate the disclaimer because I, I do, I have been there before. And when I was presented pictures by somebody that was associated with the house and I don't remember her name and it wasn't the same woman, but she presented the pictures as these are ghosts that we captured in the house. And this time we were presented with pictures and, and she said that I'm not saying this paranormal or not. Um, you decide. But yeah. here's what I see but, and here's what people say about this picture. Yes, yes. Yes. And uh, what did you think about the picture? Oh, that was cool. I love it that because, cool. I mean, I really know nothing about photography or analyzing photography. And so I, I'm looking at a photo and I'm going, I honestly don't even know what I'm looking at. Like, I mean, there's clearly some pareidolia in there in that, like, I could see, I could feel my brain trying to make a pattern out of something. And if you, if you try kind of hard, then, yeah, there's sort of a face there or this looks like a, the silhouette of a person here. Um, but you then... Um, provided some really interesting perspective like on um what sequence of pictures were involved here where's the frame of the picture what angle are we looking at is this a heat sensing camera yes. is it a, a black and white image is it a um what time of the day like it was supposed the exposure to like, yeah all of that yeah, yeah. Of that. um and so then we would actually like take the pictures and we would go to that part of the house and like line up the camera yeah, that was fun and go okay so how might we explain something that we're seeing in here Mm -hmm. My favorite part was the the black and white um, image. Yes. Yeah. Do you, you want to? No. Go you, ahead. No. Go no. Ahead. Please go ahead. You explain. Because I, mean, I explain from my perspective. stuff all the time, and I, I'd like to hear it from someone else's perspective. So, do you want to do? Yeah. It? I mean, you it was, explain it. It was a, it was a, a black and white image, and it was uh, a thermal image, right? Yes. Uh, uh, so it was an infrared camera, uh, take, but it was leaving it in a black and white. So black and white. It was a grayscale. Yeah, it was a grayscale. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Grayscale. So the um, and it, the darker the image, I think it was the the warmer the spot or yes think, yeah right. yeah darker was hotter right. yeah exactly and so it was of this wall which we were sitting on all three of us were sitting on the couch it was right. like kenny and me on the couch yeah, here yeah and, and you yeah, were no, I was, on I was, side. no i was sitting on that so yeah. side next and to so you. it was like and the so she showed us the way, picture and there's a wall behind and there's us. a wall behind us and we're like oh wait and so you stand up and kind of line up the picture you and melanie right. <laughs> and you're, you're like oh are those the you know these pictures yeah those are the pictures and you know that looks like that that the heat spot is the outlet that's, yes. Oh, yeah. Because oh, there was wow. an outlet. There's an outlet and, right there above the couch, and like, oh, that right. looks like that. But and then there was like a silhouette. There's a there's a silhouette, and she was like, oh, well, this is like a silhouette, and this is you know maybe it's a head. I don't know. We'll see. And you're like, well, there's a lamp right there. And she's like, oh yeah, there's a lamp. So the head was a lamp that was clearly there right. on the wall. There was a lamp mounted on the wall. Right. right. And it's yeah. not something new. It was it was there. It's it yeah. looked the original equipment. It's been there for a long time. Yeah. But yeah, when this picture was taken. It was there. Yeah. Um, so you it, had you could explain yeah. everything in the thing in the in the picture because the heat source was the outlet. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. explainable, and the round circle like object yeah. was the was lamp. Well, was lamp. So yeah. it was easily easily you know explainable uh, by what you could just see in the room. But right. So my perspective was like I I I was skeptical of an image that supposedly has a ghost in it, but I wouldn't have known. All of those steps to be able to right. figure it out so i don't think i would have gotten much beyond nah, i don't know is that really good evidence and right but you like, do boom, 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 boom. You, you did have great evidence when we and i'm jumping ahead when we went out into the forest because reportedly yeah. um our guide mentioned to us that the forest also was was potentially had well, some yeah if things that are unexplainable we'll just put it that way <laughs> <laughs> and and so uh and, and and she refused to go into the forest Mm -hmm. um uh and even if we were like no we'll be fine let's go up there and, and there was supposed to be a black spot mm -hmm. where nothing would grow um and so we went up into the forest and obviously i'm not a plant ecologist i don't know the forest but melanie has done forest forensics before and she could actually look at the forest landscape and tell you the history just by looking at the forest floor right and seeing the the plant succession and everything that's there and so she did a similar thing about explaining what's going on in the forest as you did with photographs Right. Which is yeah. really cool. And that was fascinating. Yeah. I, I was completely fascinated by that because all of a sudden, like, I, I've known you for a while and I didn't know this about you. And all of a sudden, <laughs> you're like, you did a, like a Wonder Woman twirl. And all of a sudden, you were like, I know everything about plant life in the entire universe. And you're just going off like a, the Energizer Bunny, just telling us everything that's yeah. going on. I'm like, where the hell is this coming from? This is 
awesome. <laughs> and, and just hearing you describe how like um uh uh what am I looking at? Oh, your screen. Oh, okay. What about it? Is it messed up? No, why? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I oh. thought you. I'm sorry. I thought you were seeing a different. How many thing. brownies have you got? None. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. Yeah, it was just fascinating hearing you describe it. And it was, it was, don't take offense to this. It was intelligent. And I'm not used to hearing that. For me, no, I do not take offense. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, I, I do no, take see, offense. See, yeah. 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 I, I was just like, you need to rephrase that. Yeah. 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 Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> it was an intelligent conversation that I'm not used to having on these kind of like, uh, like tours. Uh, um, usually I ask a question and it's, it's kind of like, well, we think, or maybe it's possible, and maybe this and that and that. And the person I asked really doesn't know, has no idea. But I asked you a question, and it was it was um, exciting and thrilling to actually have someone that knew what they were talking about. Does that make better sense? Yeah. Does that sound better? A, a little bit. You kind of redeemed yourself. No, okay. no? Uh, kind of. Yeah. You're but, so nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's so nice and, and polite, and, and it's just, your lecture lesson was awesome. Oh, oh yeah. I feel in a field of flattery. Trying to dig your way out of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, I'm I'm sure that, like I don't I've never been on a ghost hunt before myself, but ghost hunt. I'm sorry, but um, um, like the kinds of things you know are just so outside of my area of expertise that I don't even know those are things are to, to know. Does okay. that make sense? And so, um, I can imagine that you're not used to going on. I'm going to say ghost hunts again in my air quotes, but with somebody um, who is an ecologist and provides a completely different perspective yes. on something. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so, I mean, it's one of those, like the value of diversity, right? right. Yeah. So my yes. area of expertise yeah. is completely different than yours. And so we can both provide something to this puzzle here. Yeah. One, right. one example that you provided was the, it was garlic mustard. Mm -hmm. And what, what, what does garlic mustard do? What is it called when it, it... yeah, it's called allelopathic. So garlic mustard is an introduced species yes. and it's a biennial um, It was introduced by colonists to, as a food source. I mean, garlic mustard, it was a food plant. Um, but it's one of those chem uh, plants that competes by chemical warfare. So it puts chemicals into the soil that other things can't grow. And so it gets to take up all the space. And once it does that, it just keeps on perpetuating. So almost in invasive. Well, it, it is, is invasive. invasive. It is. Yeah. Okay. Sounds no, like and a it's, dick. And that's it, what it sounds like. It is. It doesn't fight fair. Yeah. It's well, bamboo. It, <laughs> and it, oh, well, that's a different kind of competitor. <laughs> yeah, that one just like by sheer might, I'm just going to take over everything. Yeah. This one is like just laying bombs. It's like okay. salting the soil. Oh, wow. Um, and so what it does is though. <laughs> Boom, bitches. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to grow here? Boom! No, you ain't going to you, yeah, Boom! Yeah, that's my, yep. <laughs> Badass, actually. In its native environment, it has it has plants that are adapted to those conditions, yeah. but we don't. And so our right. plants right. just don't really stand So a this could explain a uh, dead area, especially if it's biannual, right? right? That it could it could basically, like you said, salt the earth with its poison, prevent anything from growing there, and then at certain times during the year, it would look it like would there dead, would be right? a dead zone. Okay, no, interesting. Or is it so, green? No, biennial means that um, it has a two-year life cycle, but in a oh, population, okay. there will be some that are flowering and seeding every year. Okay, so and it it's still... Years. But it is generally like, so it's a spring ephemeral. It goes away. That's what I'm saying. Like, um, there's a period where it'd, be, it'd still be green outside, but apparently it looks the, the, it looks yeah. like it'd be dead. Well, the, the area where it's growing is largely going to have many things aren't growing there. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that could explain it some could, of it. It could, I guess. But the, but the claim there about the forest where nothing would grow is that it was black. I know. We ain't seen yeah. no black stuff. Yeah, I didn't see no black stuff. Yeah, does that make sense? That's, no, that's does the that thing. Make sense? The entire time I was like, does that make sense? <laughs> no, it don't no, make no that sense. Funny. That was uh, it. Don't make no that sense. Don't make we no never sense. found the black spot. We never found the black spot. So that's far. <laughs> I am not touching this any further. No black spot. I'm just gonna agree. Agree with you. Yeah, yes. Yeah. We did not find the black spot. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> so wait a minute. Wait. I. Spot. So we would go back to this plant. Um, you said that it it only lives for two years. Yeah, so the plant itself will like grow and put down some roots and then the next year flower and seed. But in a population, there's both years okay, that are seeded. represented. So it'll does it so it constantly is in the same area because yes. it's constantly okay. reseeding. But it's only gonna grow early spring to okay, early, okay, okay. spring to early summer. Okay. And so like in August. 
the, it, it's not going to be there. Okay. And so there, so it, there might not be space. any plants there, but got it's not it. black. I mean, there's still soil. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Do so, we yeah. want to we want to pause this conversation and take some questions, or do we? So we're still on topic. Going? Do you want to? You want to keep going? That. It's up to you. Let's, let's do keep some questions. Okay, let's do a question because you're already get... building up. Yeah. All right. Um, Who we got here? Where is Rummy? She's right here, right by here. my feet. Literally, she's chewing on a bone, making all kinds of noises, and driving him she's crazy. She's here. Yeah, because <laughs> she likes to make noise and say, "Hey, I'm, I'm here. here. Make like, look at me. Play with me." Yeah. So. All right. Um, this one is supposed to be Kenny, not John. Oh, Kenny, have you ever thought you saw a ghost? Um, so, yeah, if you would have asked me that years and years ago, um, I, <laughs> I had John, you made, I'm looking at the other comments. Uh, um, I I would have said yes. <laughs> If, if, Sorry. Yeah. That's if, my mom too, by the way. Yeah, so yeah. mom now knows it's Kenny. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Kenny. Yeah. It's Kenny, brother. Uh, so yeah, it, it's. I used to believe that I saw a ghost. I would see a shadow or something, or just not know what I saw, and I would blame it, blame it on a ghost. And that that was in my ghost hunter days when I was really ignorant of a lot of things and I didn't understand what I was looking at, or understand that when I did have an experience, I should stop take a step back and evaluate and analyze what is going on. Um, and now that's what I do. And I have yet to see something that I would consider a ghost. Um, so thinking you saw something as opposed to what you actually saw, two different things. I mean, I, I mean, you can look into a room real quick and think you saw some somebody sitting in there. And then when you stop and actually go back and look, and it ends up to be a chair with like a backpack on it or I something mean, like that. I mean, look at all the stuff like just in this room. Look at all the shit in I mean, here. <laughs> if we turned the lights out and you were like taking a walk during the night to the kitchen to get something, there's at least 25 things in here that you could pick out that- Don't spill my drink. Would be considered be a person. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Ah! Okay, the show went to yeah, yeah, we, crap. We, we, we. Push, push. Okay. <laughs> All so right. there's a follow-up question. Okay. She also wants to know if you were ever scared while um, ghost hunting. hunting. So, again, in my ghost hunting days, yeah, there were a few times I was uh, uh, startled. Um, because you have to remember, most of the time we were working in the dark. And uh, probably the worst thing is when you get something that touches your hair and you're like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, like you're freaking out because you're, in, you don't know what is up there and you feel it once and then you feel it again and it almost feels like something's crawling, crawling. along and you freak out because yeah. uh, you can't see. And, and once we're deprived of our sight, that that's, I think that's what we rely on the most. Um, so when you're deprived of that, suddenly you're like freaking out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, there, there was plenty of times I was startled and, and scared to go in it, but now there's, it, it's a difference. Again, the more I learned, the more I understood what was going on, what could happen. And even in those moments, when I think something is touching my hair, it's like, all right, let's go up and see if there's something crawling around. There's not probably a cobweb, something like that, just brushing against it. Mm -hmm. And I, I've been in so many places now that I'm used to it. I'm used to having stuff caught in, in your hair or brushing your arm and not yeah. seeing it and just going, all right, brush it away, see what happens. If it bites me, then I'll but do it. But it could be a ghost rubbing up against you. How do you know? Uh, well, if, I mean, if a ghost is going to rub up against me, you better buy me dinner first. Um, <laughs> and then we get freaky. But <laughs> oh um, and then we get, into the, we get into the debate. Like, yeah, how do you know? That's just a, that's a possibility that someone can suggest. But I can't, I can't prove it either way. You know, if I touch something and grab it and say, oh, all right, it's a spider and it bit me, then I know what, what caused it. But, and, and that goes into more of the, the idea of um, your conclusions, conclusions based on assumptions rather than actual data going to it. Because if you don't know what the source of something is, then you can't conclude what caused an event. So if you... Say, yeah, you're walking through the dark. You feel something brush your hair. You reach up. You, you grab. You don't feel anything. You turn the light on. You don't see anything. You don't know what caused it. 
Therefore, you can't conclude what touched your hair. Okay. Another question. <laughs> Cut me well, off. Well, no, I, you <laughs> know, another follow-up. My okay. mom is asking some some questions. I think she's oh. been, I have been encouraging her to ask you for a long time because I know, um, I, I hope I'm not misrepresenting you, mom, um, but you believe in ghosts. Um, and it's just a, a different perspective that, no offense, mom, but you don't always listen to me. Hey, it's just like a husband. So no he pressure. never listens to me. So, you know. I, I, I do. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> some, lessons we, some lessons we need to learn on our own. Not me. I learned the first time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Nailed it. Uh, that was out loud. Okay. Light, <laughs> I couldn't... Lightning. Yeah. Let me grab the hammer. Yeah. Are you worthy? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just push that button. Are Just, you worthy? Just in case. There you go. Yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so the, the question here is: Do you think it's impossible for someone else to see a ghost, or do you now believe there are no ghosts? There's a switch up. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Uh, so your first question, am I worthy? Do I think it's impossible for someone else to see a ghost? Uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, mommy. Okay, sorry. 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 Just trying to protect myself. from has been Mother riling her up. Good girl. Come good here, girl. big girl. You're a good baby. Um, so Back to, to answer that, uh, yeah. is it possible for someone to see a ghost? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know because I don't, I haven't ever come across good evidence that there are ghosts i don't know what other people are seeing some people oh, okay um can you put the question back up yeah the, yeah the previous one uh oh, come on. Yeah. i i even when someone and i think we discussed this the other day or so, even if she someone is telling me um describing to me what they saw i still really don't know what they saw I, I really don't because I don't have, I, I didn't see what they, I, I'm not seeing through their eyes. So I don't know. I can describe something and it makes sense to me, but someone else can see the same thing and describe it differently with variations. So I, I, I really don't know what uh, someone else is seeing, but if we can go back to the scene and try to recreate the events that were, were happening, we might be able to figure out what they saw because there's optical illusions. People misperceive things. Um, when you're tired, you start, you you can hallucinate. If you're overtired, because let's remember many ghost hunts take place, like they start at eight o'clock at night, they go to like one or two in the morning or even overnight. And people are up, I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times I've been on these these ghost hunts where I see people nodding off. They're, they're sitting in a chair and their head is bobbing and they're tired, but then they get up and they start walking around and they sit down again and then they see something or they have an experience. They think someone's sitting next to them. Um, they think somebody came into the room and no one's there. But a lot of these, again, they're happening at night. Yes. Which means that their perception is probably impacted anyway. Yes. Uh, so the second part of your question, or do you now believe there are no ghosts? Like personally, I don't believe and I don't hold a belief. Let me back up. I don't hold any beliefs. I don't like beliefs. I gave up beliefs, funny enough, and, and some of the people have heard this story, but I gave up beliefs after watching the movie Dogma. Um, the the oh, idea presented movie. in that movie was phenomenal, and I love Kevin Smith, and he had this idea. The idea presented is that I don't have beliefs, I have ideas. So right now, my idea is that there are no ghosts because I haven't seen anything that would make me think otherwise. Um, I'm still open to it. That's why I keep going out. I, I keep going on ghost hunts or and investigations. Hopeful. And what? You're hopeful. I'm hopeful. I am very hopeful. I mean, I have a shirt that says, I hope it's a ghost this time. You do. It's an awesome <laughs> shirt. Someone Bye. who likes you very much made you that shirt. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it was awesome. And people people love it. They do. They do. Yeah. They do. So, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I don't have a belief. I don't have the idea the ghost exists. I hope that there are. Um... And, and that's, I think that's about as much as I can answer for that question. Okay, so. I just think that there are things that can't be explained, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. And it also doesn't mean that they do exist. We have to keep that in mind. Um, that's, this is a, a, and I'm not picking on you personally, but this is a common uh, uh, response that 
things, some things can't be explained. So that doesn't mean that, that they don't exist. But again, it doesn't mean they do exist. Fairies. Fairies are something that was were created for mythology. Um, sorry, bad example. Bad example. Hello. Uh, uh, <laughs> I have fairies all over me. <laughs> oh, 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 it's gonna be a long night um <laughs> let's 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 go with something else like uh fire breathing dragons there you go oh even in carl sagan yeah. um right the the invisible dragon yep. yeah, you know like wonderful. you can you can say hey i believe that there's an invisible dragon in my garage and um does it mean it exists no does it mean it doesn't exist no no but like when we go in and we start asking questions, we can go further with this and try to investigate, but it's, it still comes back. Then we get into other things like uh, the moving the goalposts and, and stuff like that. But the basic idea that I'm trying to get across here is that some things happen. If you can't explain it, if the next person can't explain it, that doesn't mean it's unexplainable. And then to finish out your statement there, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Doesn't mean it does exist. Um, we have to remember so many things are misperceived, so many ghost stories, so many um, experiences that people have that claim that are ghosts or demonic or that they Minus. sensations. Yeah. Yeah. My ghost story. So can I, can I j jump in here? It, it no. feels to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's out. He's out. He's totally gone. Yeah. No, so, please. So, please. so, the, so it, it seems to me that. Where, where people have problems is that they need certainty in, in some cases. They need to have a, I need to believe in this. And so therefore, you know, even though I don't have proof, I, I, I need to have this versus being okay with there being uncertainty. It's, it's right. the, you know, it's the cat alive or dead. It could both could be Schrodinger's possible. Cat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, but, go ahead. No, I mean, it's not both possible that the cat is alive and dead. Well, they're not both possible, but yes, we right. don't know the outcome. We don't know. Until and I, and I think it's the, we don't know. Yeah. And so when people say, well, there's, you know, it can't be explained, therefore it does exist. But it, I love what you said, but it also means it could possibly not exist. And yeah, I think it's okay to be not, not have a decision, not to have a belief in either and just be, yes. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I, I, that's so it's so freeing to say I don't know. I don't know. Carl said that in the invisible that's dragon with um what's the difference in believing something with that has no evidence and, and not? I mean, so all lack of evidence means is we don't know. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to not know. It it's definitely okay to huh. say I don't know. I mean it, it's in our rules. Um <laughs> Carol says the cat is alive, damn it. <laughs> There's not a dead cat in the box. <laughs> Wait a minute. So no, I, I'm sorry. I'm seeing mom there again. I'm um, so she's saying I'm not sure a skeptic should give an opinion about the validity of ghosts. Why should you give an opinion then? Um, uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not being mean. I'm just that's uh, a great being direct. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, like what, makes... what makes you your opinion any different or better or more important than mine? Um, I will actually... say. I will say that my opinion is based off of a lot of investigation a lot of information education um and going on these things doing field work going out boots on ground and investigating these claims so uh, it's not just an opinion it's an informed opinion um and i'm not in any way saying your opinion doesn't matter or is less oh, important mom. don't oh, know mom you're killing me um, <laughs> but uh, uh opinion i value informed opinions um and that's important i think it should be important Anyone can have opinion. Everyone has an asshole. And they, some people just exploit that opinion, that ability to, to I mean, <laughs> shit, the oh my, internet. Where, where is this going? <laughs> the internet lets everyone, everyone, have, an I know. Shit. <laughs> everyone <laughs> has an opinion. Actually, I love <laughs> that meme. Like, I mean, everybody's opinions are like assholes. No, everyone <laughs> has one. There, has is a, one. there is a difference. There is a big difference. Um, and it's just, it, it, you have to look at the source. You have to look where it's coming from. That's why, like, when we do stuff that we do, when we write no. um, articles and everything, we cite okay. everything as much as possible. We show you our work. That's something that came up in, in our conversations over the last couple of days, too. You have to show your work. And if you can show your work and have the uh, put that to your informed opinion, I value that more than if you don't have an informed opinion. Um, 
acidic would that, that, yeah i agree dave um a yeah, I mean, there's that definition problem with the word skeptic. Yeah, there's, and it's really that's just yeah. a word that's been misunderstood. Uh, I mean, but yeah. going going back to that follow up, the next one that uh -huh. caused uh, no that caused Melanie to have a meltdown. Oh, <laughs> uh, the open not better, open minded, not better, just open minded. So, what I would love to speak to you personally, um, and if we can arrange that, that would be that would be fun. I would like to do that um, because. Open-minded, closed-minded. What are the definitions? Let's go over them. Open-minded means that you are open to new information and that you're willing to uh, consider them. Doesn't mean you have to accept them. It means you consider them and you can either uh, accept it and change your worldview or you reject it. And you have to work to make sure that that information, new information is valid or not. When you're closed-minded, that's when you already made up your mind, you're not willing to change and you're you, somebody that says, no matter what you say, I'm going to believe it anyway. That's closed-minded. You're not willing to look at new information. And if you're not willing to look at new information, then a conversation between us is useless. It's so a waste of time for both of us. So for you, if if you're presented with evidence that, and again, you're on the you're on the side of pro ghost. In other words, you hope to find one. So uh, I wouldn't say I'm pro ghost. Not I'm not pro ghost, pro but you know what I'm saying. You, I'm Switzerland. <laughs> Yeah, but if you found if you found evidence that there were there's a ghost, you would say there's there are ghosts. Yes, but absolutely. But what you're saying is closed-minded means that um, there's no evidence that you can say that that will make me change my mind that right. I, that ghosts don't exist. And it, I believe yeah. in ghosts, and therefore right. you can provide me with all kinds of evidence, and it doesn't matter. So it it, it happens on both sides. Yeah, you of can course have it does. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. A quote unquote, and I'm going to use uh, the stereotypes here, but believers could could say. I believe in ghosts. No matter what you say, yep. I don't care. I still believe in ghosts. Right. That's closed minded. Yep. Agreed. On the other side, I could say, I don't, I don't believe, believe in ghosts. Yep. It's all stupid. It's all silly. And no matter what you say or show me, I'm not going to believe in them. Closed minded. Closed minded. Right. Both sides. So open minded is just being open to changing, Close, changing open -minded. one's mind. My idea is that ghosts don't exist. Yeah. If you come to me and say, I have absolute proof that ghosts do exist, I'm not going to dismiss you. I'm not going to say, I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to say, you keep taking cases. yes, I'm going to say, here's Show. the table. Yep. Put it on there. Yeah. Let's see it. You know, let's, let's see what you got. Yeah. And I'm not doing it sarcastically. No, I'm no. not, I'm not going, Oh, I can't wait to, to rip this apart and debunk this. I'm going to, I'm interested. I well, having to... spent the night in the, in the, in the haunted house, we saw evidence of you, um, taking in, taking in evidence, right. Yeah. And being open-minded with the evidence. And not being a, a dick about it. <laughs> Thank you. Because <laughs> like you could have very choice. easily been a dick about it. Yeah. And you're just like, well, just let's look at this and let's try and figure this out. Yeah. Let's just kind of walk it through. And you also concluded with, I don't have the original photographs or, yeah. or stuff, so I can't make a, a conclusive, definitive yeah, conclusion. statement yeah. on here's exactly what I... Right. It's sort of like, here's what I think. Yeah. Which I think is really interesting. This is what I think yeah. based on what I know and yeah. what I can show you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we go from there. And, and that goes into the informed opinion, too. Yeah. Because I'm not just looking at going, no, that doesn't look like a ghost. Right. That's somebody's opinion. How yeah. many ghost hunts have you been Ghost hunts? How many things have you investigated? 8,762. <laughs> no, no, not at all. That was two Holy crap. Two I know. All the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we lost Princess Leia. <laughs> oh, we did. Okay, she was creeping me out, so it's all good. Oh, okay, yeah, it's all right. Um, <laughs> That was pretty good. Yeah. Was pretty quick. Uh, I have no idea, honestly. Because I need, there's, there's, I, I don't, uh, I can't guesstimate. Because if I give a number, I'm sure Dave out there in the chat room will be like, that's bullshit. Okay. So <laughs> I love you, Dave. Over under 50. Um, so, oh, yeah. Over 50. 100? Over 50. Probably over 100. Yeah. 100. Um, I, I don't know. Okay. Let's go with 100. Okay. Of the hundred, I feel we're we're using it. No, as an I'm example. just I'm trying to figure like out. So, like, something. Yeah. how many of the of those times, like, what percent would you say that you solved you solved it to the extent that the evidence very clearly leans towards a natural explanation that you can figure out? Versus, I legit have no idea, and the evidence and or the evidence leans towards a ghost. So that's I can't answer that question. I uh, I whatever. Roll your eyes all you want, but I can't. I, that's the honest answer because I, I don't have the numbers. Okay. So if I don't have the numbers, I can't give you a percentage because I've gone from uh, investigations that I've done on my own, mm -hmm. um, going along with other teams, pay to play, 
things where there are events that are I see on social media and I pay 25, 50 bucks to attend and just sit in the corner. Have um, there been any ghosts that you found? No, they don't come out for me. <laughs> so I don't know if it's just like, oh shit, Kenny Biddle's here. <laughs> Run away. Mm. Uh, I, I, I haven't seen anything like that. Um, but I've been on so many over the years. I mean, we started in 97 um, with a ghost hunting team. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's 23, yeah. six year, 26 six years, six years yeah. um, that I've been doing it as a hobby. Um, and just, I, I have no idea. I can't answer the question. Okay. Sorry. But you've, to be clear, you've not found a ghost. I have not myself. No. Do you? All right. But no. Do I put, hurry up. We got, no, I'm good. We got a bunch of questions. Let's yeah, I, I want to hear questions. Okay. And we, we got 12 minutes to our pee break. Okay. Yeah, <clears> there's no peeing. Going fast. There's no peeing in baseball. <laughs> <laughs> I love hanging out with you guys because like the, the movie and TV quotes just are yes. awesome. Uh, Kenny, have you deep dived into any real history concerning this place? So the, um, I'm imagining the hens this down. is the hens down. Yeah. Yeah. So I started looking into it a little bit. Um, and it, I start and stop, unfortunately, because I get distracted by other things. And and I didn't get a like I know some of the history. I do have some of the books that were published about it, and I've read them. I've gone through them. The history there there is a historian that was uh, did a really good piece, and I, I forget her name, but she had read the original book that came out about the house, and did a, a very long blog blog post that was very well referenced and told the the history, the documented history of the place. So some of the things didn't line up. <clears throat> actually many of the things um, in the, the alleged history of the house didn't line up with documented history as far as I know, but I haven't done it myself. Um, I have bits and pieces and it's one of those projects that I start doing when I'm there and then I get distracted when I get back home or to work and I do other things. So there's some pieces and I really would like to do something um, on that, like a, uh, like a full piece, but I haven't done it yet. Good. Good. <clears throat> Okay, uh, Jay Kitten has a question about the garlic mustard plant. I very rarely oh. feel this stupid. You're not stupid. Yeah, don't no don't worry. You just stupid. don't know. No yeah. stupid questions. Yeah, if you don't understand something, I mean, I don't. Honestly, I didn't, I didn't know, know this that, either. I didn't know it existed. <laughs> and tell you the truth, before she answers this question, I didn't know that plants have eggs. That freaked me out. Yeah, we can learn a lot tonight. I knew about, I knew about <laughs> yeah, like, pollen. We learned a lot today. Kind of being sperm. And then I was told, like, oh, they have eggs, too. And I'm like, what? Yeah, we dissected some more. flowers today. She took apart flowers and showed us everything. And I was like, this is all, like, they're male and female body parts. Yeah, I'm like, plant playing. sex. This is, Let's yeah, do yeah. this. Yeah, <clears> we did a lot it. of plant sex today. It was plant porn That's right different. there. Well, yeah, I mean, table, yeah, we got like the male parts of flowers and the female parts. And oh here, let's, let's see how the babies are made. On. You don't realize. That's right, John Kennedy. <laughs> Ignorance is not stupidity. No. Okay. <clears throat> are you going to answer the question? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <This question laughs> so you. garlic yeah. mustard is a plant, not just a condiment. Okay. Mark. So um, is this is one of those times where the common name <clears throat> of a plant is really misleading. So garlic is actually an allium. So it's in the, the onion family. And... Um, fun fact, um, mm -hmm. garlic and onion uh, leaves, uh, yeah. onions, those are all like underground leaves of uh, these plants that have, They I know they, like people bolts. think they're roots because yeah. they're underground. Yeah. yeah. But here, here's the ground, here's the underground storage leaves, and then the, the roots are generally down here. Um, but, but those are allium plants. Mustard is actually a big family of plants, um, bra the brassicas, and... Um, the garlic mustard is actually, um, I'm, I'm really not sure what family it's in. I don't think it's in either one, but it's called that because it kind of sort of tastes like garlic and mustard. Um, but it's so, neither. It but it, no, it's not. Except it when you hand it to me and say, here, smell this, and it's garlic yeah. mustard. And I'm like, smells, smells like, like a leaf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> smells like grass. <laughs> oh, actually, like garlic mustard mm -hmm. is in the brassica family, so it's in the mustard family. Okay. Um, but it's not of the mustards that we cultivate for mustards. Um, and actually, brassica vegetables also include, like, the Brussels sprouts and cabbage and broccoli. Yeah. And all of those are actually the, the same species huh. that are just been selected for. And now You've never you had know. these kinds of plant questions. No, uh, no. And now you know. No, 
I this is the this first time ever that we've had plant questions. We'll, it, we'll see if it's the last time. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm like bored. We, we learn. <laughs> People aren't bored. They're not they're bored. Not they're bored. learning. Yeah. They're learning stuff. I wish you could have seen the plant eggs. They were really cool. You can dissect flowers. It's really fun to dissect flowers. So what you do is look at the petals and the sepals, if they have the showy petals and stuff for the attracting animals, and then you can pull apart the male and female parts if it has both or if it has one or the other. And But they need an ecologist to help them do yeah, it. Yeah, because I would have no, no idea. I'd be like, Lady. I would have been like, <laughs> yeah. You know what we should do? We should put yeah. a video you on YouTube, just cutting one open. Oh, and flower show dissection? There yeah. you go. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. small YouTube show. We can do that. Show. Just okay. a little quick clip. And I'm yeah. sure that would go viral. Well, if you start well, out with the thumbnail that goes, we're going to explore plant sex. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Would you click on that? Yeah. Plant Are you sex. kidding me? Yeah. Me, I'd be like, kidding. you yeah. want to explore plant sex? Sure. Sure. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's watch yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Do you uh, know flowers? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like oh, flowers yeah. have ovaries. <laughs> uh, there you go. Who knew that? Top plant sperm. Exactly. There you go. Now everybody would click on that. Oh, All right, let's take another question because we still okay, got we, go. we still got seven minutes. Uh, Robert, what's up, buddy? Mm. <clears throat> Kenny, are you going to write a book on paranormal investigation? <laughs> Did Ben Radford put you up to that? <laughs> um, I, I'm actually because I, I have a book that I'm constantly getting distracted from that has oh. to do with photography, and it's it's all about photography, photo anomalies. Um, I, I put it out in 2007, self completely self published, and I'm not even talking like a self a, a publishing service that I used. I we we built everything ourselves and sold them in conferences. But I'm trying to update that as I get time, and I'd like to put that out. As for an investigation book, I don't know. I don't know if I would do that. Uh, ben Radford has a really good book. He has two books: uh, Scientific Paranormal Investigation and Investigating Ghosts. Um, very good books. I, I highly recommend them because they, he breaks down some I of the second. stuff he does. Yeah. Yes, they're very good. Uh, really good, even though I don't like giving him credit for th things because um, <laughs> I love him like a brother and that's why I make fun of him. But um, he does a really good job. There's also uh, Ben Rapp, or no, uh, Joe Nickel um, has put out several books about his investigations and he goes into detail about how he does it. And so I, I really suggest you pick them up. I always find that there's no one method to investigate because it de really depends on what the claims are. And we go through historical claims or photography claims or video claims or what people experience in a house. And there's so much information. I don't know if it could be in one book um, because even Ben and Joe's books do not cover everything. Uh, there's a lot that I had to learn on my own. Uh, so I don't know if it would cover it. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's why I do lectures on, on this stuff, which if you're in the uh, Seattle, Washington and Portland, Oregon area in August, um, I'll be There's out there. Yeah. Um, talking about this kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, I have the idea of the book that I have been wanting you to write. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> and so I'll see if I can get other people to help peer pressure you to write this book. Okay. Good because I know that. Kenny in days of yore. Days of Yore, yes. Hmm. Wrote a book about ghost stories with the ghost hunting that he did. Yes. And I'm curious what Kenny today would think of those. Oh, I see. I see what you did there. I did. That's, that's funny. <laughs> I, I probably, yeah, yeah. It's not really a ghost. That's not an investigation book, though. No. It's no, perspective. It's a, yeah, it's perspective. Yeah. That might be something. Maybe I'll, I'll slap the two, because they were supposed to be two I'm books. I'm curious so what the together. commenters think here. So I... Yeah. No pressure, though, but if you don't side with me, I'm going to think you don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to hurt my feelings. So Jay Kitten has a follow-up question. Okay. Does dissection hurt or kill the plant? Um, well, kill the plants that we looked at today. <laughs> <laughs> I assure you well, it did. <laughs> um, so it depends. Um, usually the flower is just the reproductive part. So basically you're just like, let's say, spaying Circumstition? and neutering. Spader circum, 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 sure. I don't like this. Circumcision. Yeah. I don't like this. I idea. really had a walk did you away snip from the tip? this today. Is that yeah. what we did? I did. Yeah. You snip the tip. I yeah. did. Oh. Just the tip. Um, <laughs> just the tip. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah, flower is. is not going to reproduce. Here's the um, I will say if you're gonna go out and collect flowers for dissection, um the bigger, the better, generally speaking. Um, same flowers are easier. It's still early mm -hmm. in the year to find some really easily um dissectable flowers. 
Um, a good rule of thumb is if you're in a wild population and there's very few around, don't pull the flower because that's its only chance at reproduction. Otherwise, like um, a great one to do is lilies. Like go to the store and buy a small bouquet of lilies and dissect them. Um, yeah, okay. they were already dead to begin with. They're not going to reproduce because the flowers were already cut for you. Okay. Right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, if you have a cut flower, yeah. Yeah. Good, good. All right. Okay. We can do uh, another um, question. I have another question awesome. for Melanie. we got a lot in the queue. I love this. This is um, great. Here we go. Even better when it's somebody else. Oh. Melanie, are you oh. into Swamp Thing? Is that the movie from like the 80s? Yes. I really liked that movie when I was a that kid. That was good. I don't know yeah. if I saw it. But yeah, I it haven't good. seen it yeah. for decades. Yeah. <gasps> we should watch it tonight. We might have to watch it. For yeah. part of our slumber party. Yeah. I wonder if my, how my adult mind would... Let's um, write that like, down. I don't have a book to write stuff would down. Would process like. that movie because it's been so long, and what it is in my memory now is probably not very accurate of what it was to begin with. Um, I mean, I watched, and there was a series, Swamp Thing series. Oh, I I've not seen that. Is that what you're referring to? Um, I hope. I hope. I, I just know the movie because the movie yeah. was a classic. I mean, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just see the movie and call it done. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. All right. I think Not we can only do a movie, but a TV show. Too. TV show. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. That was good. So oh, um, do one more? Yeah. Let's do one more okay. and see. Because uh, that was a relatively oh. short question. Rami. Okay. Shut up. Um. Dun, dun. Is the air quality in New York as bad as the pictures look? <sighs> Some places are. Yeah. Yes. When we drove, unfortunately, when, when we drove up uh, a couple days ago to yeah. come visit, it, it was almost blackout conditions from the, from like the smoke. Like a yellow or, or, blackout. Yeah, yellow, <laughs> like yellow, red. orange. Yeah, yellow. orangey. Yeah, it was really bad. It, the it, air was thick. Yeah, it was very thick and it, you could heavy, you could smell it. It was it was pretty yeah. Yeah. pretty awful. We got to I, Buffalo, it was better. Um, yeah. I, I've i seen the New York pictures, it looked pretty terrible. Yeah. Yeah. But pro crossing through was the biggest thing yeah. I saw, which yeah. I understand now why it went on to Right, I, yeah, the way it's going. coming down, yeah, I think yeah. we were spared the most of it, uh, but it's still... Like in, and you we've all you, smell you, it. You, you mentioned it too. Mm -hmm. Like you're getting that scratchy throat. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 You and know you you're feel breathing it. stuff. And in. it feels like allergies. That's what it feels like to me when I get like. It's like a bit of smoky bar. No, don't mind cats. I, I do. <laughs> I do. Cats are the seed of evil. Mm. Evil. That's it. No, but I was seven okay. levels of hell. Because I was really I, I'm ignoring you because you're wrong. So up in up at the no, haunted house, um, the haunted house. The reason that we couldn't really see the stars. It's because yeah, of the smoke. smoke, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we did try. We tried to take some good pictures at night, but it didn't. We got didn't smoky work. pictures. Come on. Coming up, good girl. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's we'll fit in one more question. Okay. And we'll go to work. John Kennedy. Break. Where's my Where's my invite to the pajama party? I want to play. With like Shady Shady Shady. Shady. Wow, you can put pajamas. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness! It, it good yeah. girl, get her up. Get her. No, she wants to play. She's like, come on. <laughs> All right. I meant to go. piss you off. Let's uh, let's <laughs> take our let's take our pee, pee break and we'll, we'll refill. We'll be back for we'll more back. questions. We have some questions still in the chat, yeah. and we still have a lot more to talk about. So it might be a longer show tonight, guys. All so right, we prepare we'll accordingly. All right, we'll see you back in about four minutes from now. <laughs>
All right. So we didn't all make it back. <laughs> the guys made it back. Yeah. I wonder why. Well, I'm here. Yeah. yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm here. We're good. Yeah, yeah. We're good. We're here. We're good. Like, we're here. Can you put this over there? Four minutes. <laughs> Can you turn off yeah. the light over there, Mom? There you go. Yeah, the yeah the kitchen light. There you go. All right, we are back. Let me put the comments back. Sorry, up here. guys. Sorry no for worries. the delay. You I'm just get sure. to see all our pajamas. That's all. Well, that's what it's all about today, that's right? right. It's a pajama, pajama party. party. Mm. What kind of pajamas? You got? What is that? Paisley? Is that Paisley? It's like what it's called? Pattern. I don't know. Pattern. It's pattern. like Paisley pattern. pattern oh, we got stuff. Tinkerbell. Got I got Tinkerbell. Star Wars. I know. Droids. Hmm. I did have my Pac-Man onesie on, but it got really hot. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't. It's too hot here. Um, no, she's got to go. Oh, boy. All right. So I'm loving this. I'm loving the questions you guys have because I think, like, I, I'm always, always, not worried per se, but, like, is this show going to go good? <laughs> like, are we going to have stuff to talk about? Are we going to run out of things to talk about? But honestly, I mean, before we get to the questions, we we've had conversations all the last couple of days, and it's like nonstop. Mostly because you just go random questions. Your brain is like uh, uh, worse than the mind. I think mm -hmm. with with yeah. like the Energizer oh. Bunny on Coke, <laughs> I know. Cocaine Bear. That's yeah. what you. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> cocaine Bear. Cocaine That's it. Bear. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, but you wouldn't want to be in my head. No, it's been so much fun though. Yeah. You know, like I love having these conversations, and I mean, it's nice to have a partner in crime to get in trouble with when we're like, I'm gonna go over to the office for like five minutes, yeah. and then you come over, and it's like three hours later. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you coming home? Anthony's like texting me like. I'm hungry. And Donna's I was like, like we're, we're leaving. We're going out to eat without you. Yes, we are leaving. <laughs> so, all right, let's get to some uh, some questions. And uh, this has been fun. I love this. I love I love doing this. Stuff. All right. Kenny, Kenny, are you going to write a book on paranormal investigation? Didn't we do this? I thought we did. Did we yeah, just we did, cover yeah, that yeah, one? Yeah, that was all the right, last my one. bad. My bad. So I, like, I, I like this, Heldona. Would Anthony be interested in directing my rendition of the Hallelujah Chorus? <laughs> Mine is a paradoia chorus. Oh, and I need orchestra and choir as well to make it all work. Okay. What? Well, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no. Go ahead. What were you going to say? Well, what I just heard is his piece is a clusterfuck, and he just needs you to make a pattern. Out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's basically it. I have this idea, and I want you to write it, direct it, yeah, <laughs> and provide music. all the musicians, the singers, everything. Do everything. Yes. The answer is yes. I'd be happy to do that for you, Daniel. Um, Unfortunately, it's going to be very expensive. Yeah. So, uh, but you know, we all have a price, and so yeah, I, yeah right. exactly. So, so we, we've discussed yeah, yeah, that yeah. several times. Yeah, exactly. We have discussed you want that. It done, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. Yeah, you know. Oh, you actually wrote it. You've written it. No, I wrote. I oh, am yeah. curious as hell. Oh, oh, so it's oh, a real wait, thing. On, it's not. Hold on, hold on. Oh. Shoot, yeah. Um, but still, if you need, if you need, if you, but if yeah, you still need you a, choir a, a choir and orchestra, it still gets to be quite expensive. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you can play the piano. That's you can cool. Play the piano. Yeah, that's totally cool. Okay, so we can. All we right. can work it. All right, if you send it to me, um, well, I can take a look at it. You just get wow. on my get on my website, um, it's TeresaKing.com. Uh, there's a contact page, and you just you can send it to me, and we can make yeah. There you go. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. we'll make it work. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yes. We want credit. I'm still expensive though. I won one yeah, percent. It's, it's still my call. It's still expensive. Now, yeah. I don't want any money. I just want it, my my name somewhere. You, you can, can have your name. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah Easter yeah. egg made happen made by, by yeah. on yeah on, on oh, yeah, party. Yeah. Pajama party. Pajama party. <laughs> pajama party. Pajama pajama party edition. That's right. Oh, I love that. First this ever. This is a statement from John Kennedy. Oh. Can I just say this is one badass cast. Absolutely love this. Thanks for inviting us to y'all's conversation. Y'all's. You know, Thank you, there John. is an array of expertise sitting here that is in a lot of different camps. Uh -huh. and Mine is used, least useful. No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. Because okay. you know what? Something that we haven't talked about and nobody has questions. I mean, you you have a background in music. Yep. Right. What? To what? No. Let's talk to. We Amy. haven't actually. And you notice how you. she's leaving now, right? Uh, because I have. She's prop. heard this story many times. So, okay. what's your background? Uh that's a great question. So, my background. <laughs> I, I have a lot of great questions. Great thing. Great question, Kennedy. Folks, my background. <laughs> 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 no, I. So, I'm. I'm a conductor. So that's my. My profession is to. Like a, a train conductor. A train conductor. Yes, I'd be worse <laughs> Somebody, than useless on a train. Who said that? I, somebody asked me about you, and I said he's a conductor. And someone's like, 
like a tree yeah 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 yeah. Like a, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 big ones that, yeah big ones big ones, big ones. Yeah. no I, all conductors do is make wind <laughs> pretty much <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is that a conductor joke I <laughs> is that a yes. standard well, wait wait break wind? Wind? Break wind? Just, break wind no make wind oh, okay. we, 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 we make wind um yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> pull my finger <laughs> yeah. boy this is this is going downhill quickly. but yeah so i i get in front of groups of musicians and and okay. and i use a fancy term multimodal perception um in, in with my gesture with physical gesture uh to create um a coherent uh musical performance okay yeah so i mean we could ask you questions about music especially if it comes out with history of music yeah um but like even last night, last night we were sitting here watching Flea Market Flip, which yes. is an awesome show. And you yeah. spotted a violin yeah. case in the background. Yeah. And I was like, oh, hold on a second. And I ran down and I got this old beat up violin case with yeah. a violin in it. And yeah. we spent the next hour. Yeah, just kind of dissecting the violin and yeah. looking it over and, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, finding all the pieces. And all the pieces are there. It's missing strings. But yeah. It was Sound post was in place. Yeah, it's it great. And then it's, we looked at the maker and yeah, that, and yeah. found From that that maker yeah. had some instruments worth twelve thousand dollars, which yeah. was kind of cool, right? But yeah, it, like I wouldn't know where to start with that. Yeah. I mean, uh, it would take me some time yeah. to start researching. But having you here, your expertise was like boom, boom. Within seconds, yeah. we had information that would take me yeah. an hour. It's right. the it's the it's the it's the value of diversity again. Like yeah. we all have diverse uh, backgrounds and expertise, and mm -hmm. so. Um, when we're all sitting in a room together, we can we can ping off of different things. Yeah, kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. So Andy, I know what the answer to this. What is. is your favorite orchestral instrument? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob's was the French horn and trumpet player in high school. Yeah. Um, first of all, French horn is tough. It's a hard instrument. You have to like you know shove it. <laughs> That's what French thrust, horners do. They, they shove their fist into the bell. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'll let, I'll let you sit with that. I'll let you sit with that. Fisting! <laughs> oh, shove my God. It. <laughs> it's tough to keep those things in tune. But, sure. um... <laughs> I am sure. Uh, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Yes. We, we fist, fist, fist the, the bell. bell. Exactly. Yeah, just, just shove it. Um, <laughs> it's a great instrument when you get a French horn play well. I'm my, sure. <laughs> my favorite instrument, my, my instrument is the cello. And, and, and so I am biased. And so I, I think that is, is one of the, the best instruments. Best. Yeah. Cause it, it mirrors its range mirrors the vocal range of, of a human being. Right. Okay. Oh, and, and so it, a male. Um, yeah, but you know, it gets as high as a female too. Right. So the extended range, but yeah, it's, it's a, it, you know, Melanie's not agreeing yeah. with you. At well, the no, I can just, a human male can also sing quite high. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I, I know. What but, you're yeah, saying, but yeah, I see what you're it's, saying. It, yeah. But yeah, so it's it's a it's a it's a wonderful instrument. I I think. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> nice answer. This is great. See, you're getting questions too. I know. <laughs> well, because you set I it up. No that's no idea that was going to yeah. go there. <laughs> yeah. The, the shoving it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm glad we went there <laughs> because that was you know great. What? I did bring in a prop though. Yeah. Oh, do you want to go there first? Well, Can we do I some mean, questions. Or? It, oh, sure. It, you you oh. you time it. You're in charge. Okay, let's do a few more questions okay. because some of these were out before the. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Okay. Um, could any of you feel dark, dark energy, energy during, during your ghost time? time? Thanks, Red Man. That means we have to drink. Everybody energy. has to drink. So, clink. Oh, are we clinking Cheers. first? Okay. Clink, drink, oh, clink, clink. clink. Yeah. Mm. Wait, mine is like empty. Oh, you had a pee break. Why didn't you fill it up? It was, it was too short. <laughs> no fear, water's here. No. So the, the, going back to that, I mean, like, no, I felt nothing. All not <laughs> I, felt nothing. I, I was real. numb inside yeah. was and no, outside. So there was no energy. No, I, at all. I, yeah, no, I felt nothing. There's one point where the lights went out. Right, the yes. lights just went. And that, was, that was actually right, yeah. it was Wait. awesome. And we, I looked at my clock and I'm like, are these time to go off at 12 yeah, yeah. and like freak us out or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. 12 2. Yeah, immediately. Right. That's hypothesis the hypothesis is disconfirmed. Yeah. All right, what's yeah, the yeah. Other one? yeah, well, my well, immediate thought was just that regular timer. Was yeah, I, I thought you know? I thought the same thing. Did they rig it? Rig it? Yeah. And and then next step was, oh, we were running two heaters on the same. It circuit. was really cool. Oh, you guys blew so the we circuit. had brought in two <laughs> in space heaters. Yeah, two yeah. heaters on either side yeah, of yeah. us and same yeah, circuit. Only that room went out. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. we just we went back and found. flipped uh, breaker number six, and everything went right Boom. back on. Right and back on. Yeah, so no no dark energy from from my um, perspective. I don't know. I don't know about you. And we we 
I mean, we chatted all night. We went through the woods. We didn't find the the black spot. No Actually, black spots. Tim, we went back and night hiked. Yeah, you did. Yes, yeah. nice. we went back and and, and you didn't tell me, and so I get a text. We're in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. Let me read the full text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was much funnier. You already um, said you're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just, well, he like, was sitting I didn't in the room working on the video that we had recorded, which the so we recorded a fun video, yeah, and I'll be, be releasing soon. it soon. Yeah. But yeah. um, and Anthony was sitting there working on it, and Kenny came up missing, and I thought, oh, where'd Kenny go? Right. And he was outside. I'm like, hey, let's go up in the forest. So we did. We walked up to the forest, we and did. she's like, you know, you better tell Anthony where we are. So I sent him a text saying, hey, we're up at the tree because white people court death every chance they get. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ha, ha, have fun. Yeah, <laughs> because the black man ain't coming yeah, yeah. out and I've seen Yeah, 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 exactly. It's like, does that make sense? Does that make no sense? one of us standing yeah, that there. Does that make no sense? No, no sense. No sense. Because not we're out here. in the woods, complete <laughs> yeah. darkness. Yeah. The only thing that lit anything up was well, we had a flashlight, one flashlight, and, and the then they have um, the, phones, the solar yeah. lamps. Okay, they had a few oh, of those going yeah. up. So, but they didn't provide any like no. light except for no. where they were. Right, and that's it. So it. Really dark there. It yeah. was really, really dark. dark. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you guys would have been molested by a deer or something. It would have been. Well, we were up there. I've seen it. I've seen videos of that. It's it's scary. Where are you looking? Dude, 2 a.m. It's like Kenny's on weird you wanna, YouTube, YouTube man. The big, big thumbnail YouTube says Deer Hunts Hunter. Like, yeah, let's see that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what that looks like. All you gotta do is have some stupid freaking yep. weird title, and I'm yep. like, I'm there. I'm like, oh, let's check yeah, that let's out. see what happens. Why not? Sure, I want to see not? that. Yeah. Um, so no, I didn't. I throughout the whole night, I, I mean, we had great conversations. We had a, a great interview yeah. for yeah. a video that yeah. you're going to have coming up. Yeah. Um, but nothing. I mean, yeah, nothing. You, I was surprised. Like you were on the couch, all with pretty much every blanket in the, the entire state that could be found. That was cold. And you were just sitting there, like, all right, I'm just going to sleep right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically... Didn't lay down. Nothing. And yeah. when I came down in the morning, <laughs> same place. <laughs> 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 Uh, he just he fell asleep. I done. wanted, I wanted, I wanted something to happen, but yeah, nothing, yeah, nothing. Well, nothing we happened. stayed in the room where the exorcism, the exorcism, yeah. exorcism, was. exorcism was, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, didn't happen. Didn't happen. I mean, quite frankly, the reason I, I know there were like bedrooms throughout the house, but um, I did not trust myself. I'm a sleepwalker, and I did not trust myself <clears throat> with a flight of those stairs. That yeah, they sense. were not, that they're totally not the best sense. stairs. They're especially they're very well worn in a different place that you're not familiar mm -hmm. with they also the, the stairs if, if you're not familiar with it um the stairs go up but when it gets to the second floor there's no landing um it's basically <laughs> you have to go there's steps all the way up to the wall and you have to step up into one side where there's a bedroom or the other side oh, yeah really there's no landing oh that's whatsoever. dangerous so yeah i mean they have it lit yeah. they have like motion sense yeah, sensing yeah, lights yeah. No, but, but i mean just <clears throat> It's the not. Like next to no, I mean, I, it's more than weird six, number. Yeah, it was a weird number. Was, weird height. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Weird depth. depth. And they, yeah. they were they were not uh, to code. warped. Yeah. Not um, to code. Because yeah. there were there were some. Yeah. They were there were some that were very narrow. Like I'm doing this, like you guys can see what I'm doing. But instead of a full step, yeah. it was pretty much like half your foot yeah. fit on it. And it, it, it was like narrow. it was very easy. Yeah. All the way down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's dangerous. No, but stay. Like I wanted to stay in the room also that. That so supposedly that um a Catholic priest supposedly 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 supposedly, supposedly. supposedly. Sorry. supposedly. remember Joey we supposedly? Love friends. Supposedly. supposedly supposedly anyway how do you say so, that supposedly supposedly yeah yeah supposedly. Joey says supposedly. supposedly supposedly that's what I say supposedly, supposedly. we've supposedly. gone off course here that's okay. okay go ahead go ahead, okay. go ahead. I don't know you oh. wanted to say it. <laughs> well the, supposedly been a Catholic priest that had exercised the house in the With room where we were. Jacks. <laughs> <laughs> she, left, she left that part out. I really okay. Yeah. Um, a, a priest really sure. performed yeah. an exorcism in the living room in the area of that couch where we were sitting. And we according to our tour guide, when he did that, the house screamed. Yes. And 
Isn't that also the room where the like tremors is supposed yes, to occur? Yes, yes, yes. And where people who had stayed there overnight and even gotten them because the whole house was tricked out with cameras <laughs> that you could like buy for, you know, to, well, there was a lot of things you could buy. Um, yeah. You could buy the cameras overnight so you could analyze them. You could buy the video. So they have five uh, cameras that stream or live. No, there are five cameras there. They record all the time, all the time, all the time. Yeah. So you can buy the video of your night there. And apparently in that room is where a lot of stuff happens. Yes. And so we slept in that room. Nothing happened. Nothing. No. 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 Okay. All right. It wasn't upstairs. enough to wake you up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not. I, I mean, yeah. when I came down in the morning, I tried to be as quiet as I could. I don't know if you heard me or. Yeah, we can hear you. No, I, actually, no. You were, I heard the, you were in the bathroom and that's when I first heard you. Uh, so the walk down the well, stairs, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, it was really Sometimes, loud. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, gotta do what you gotta yeah, do, exactly. man. <laughs> and you know what? The house did shake. <laughs> <laughs> That's when he woke up. Yeah, exactly. Was yeah. <laughs> I mean, I popped up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, John Guy's in the house. Uh, hey, John, hey guy. John Guy. What's up, people? Miss you. Uh, okay, question. Okay. What? was a high profile case that you looked into and were able to debunk. This is going to be you. Uh, Lauren, uh, cool name. Um, so probably one of the, the highest profile. Well, there's, there's a few. Um, there's the, uh, the Blackwell ghost film um, that's available on Amazon prime. Uh, there's a series of them. I think they're up to five now, but the first one came out. <clears throat> it was very popular and I, I was able to look into it and, there's so much, uh, so many questions of what it was it real because it's like a, it's not a found footage, but it's almost like a reality based um, show, but it's made into a documentary. Guys, uh, he first investigates a video of an alleged ghost, and then uh, he goes to a house allegedly in Pennsylvania and to investigate a haunted house. Um, and it was it was advertised as as a film director wants to prove the paranormal is real and he encounters genuine paranormal footage. Um, and this is an authentic documentary and stuff. So I looked into it and I was able to find a lot of stuff and, and eventually uh, found out that it was all staged uh, and, and actually talked to the guy that made it and, and confirmed that, yeah, he made everything up um, for a story. So there's that, there's the Dybbuk box with uh, that's in uh, Zach Baggins, not haunted museum. In Las Vegas, I, I really did a lot with that and found out that the, the uh, original storyteller complete. I had him confess on this show that he made it all up. Um, oh. He made up the story yeah. on so, this show. He oh yeah, yeah, yeah. he so came cool. on and yeah. talked about it. And yeah, yeah, he admitted that he made it up. Um, so did you know he was going to do that? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I already knew it was it was made up. Um, but he came on the show. What I, but I talked to him. I reached out to him. I was surprised. I honestly. Honestly, was surprised because I reached out to him and said, I want you to come on and say it. for. I want to see it. I want to ask you myself. And uh, he came on. He said yes. And he came on. And we talked about it. And we talked about a lot of the, the repercussions from it and maybe what effects it had on people that believe it was real. Wow. Um, so we talked about that. Uh, and then the, another one, the last one I'll, I'll say is that when um, I, found, I found out that Zach Baggins uh, – Ghost Hunting for Dummies book was plagiarized, like severely oh, yeah. plagiarized. Um, that he that it was ghost written by Troy Taylor, um, who recycled one of his own books and then uh, plagiarized works from over 40 different authors um, and stole like articles and blog posts and chapters of books. Took an entire chapter from Joe Nichols book on uh, uh, photography, uh, the history of uh photography and took the entire chapter and just copied it um, into his book. So uh, that was a big deal because that actually forced the publisher to reissue the book on, on, under a different format because they had to include all the references um, to, to, the that they didn't the first time. <laughs> so they had to acknowledge all the people that they stole they work stole from um, because they did. They stole they uh, they they stole someone else's work. And that that's uh uh, word pitiful. for word, it's worse than like a pitiful. project from a and it's like the high best, school yeah. kid. You now know? I'm getting angry. I'm getting I know, angry thinking like, about it's it. Like worse than like so lazy. 
Um, just like cut and paste. Didn't we do that like when we were in like sixth grade trying to get away with it? Well, we didn't even have cut and paste back then. Because no, we, we didn't, didn't have, we didn't even cut. Have that. White yeah, glue. Yeah, white glue and paste. And then you, then you did I think. Yeah. Then you think it's called a ransom though? Yeah, yeah. Photocopy. Yeah, yeah. We didn't have no cut and paste back then. It was just really hard. I was like, if you want to see your dog again, five hundred dollars. You had to hand bring it word for word, yep. and and she knew you were taking it right from the encyclopedia. Yeah. Like yeah. you know, you didn't write it. Oh my goodness, that was good. That was good. I hope that answered your, your question there, Corn. Um, and there's plenty more. I mean, it, feel free to browse skepticalinquirer.org, look for my name, and uh, and you'll see all the articles and videos that I do. Um, the recent one on the DR60. Recorder, I love that. I absolutely love that video. So check that one out too. Is that the famous Annabelle behind the ghost? Annabelle. 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 So that's Boo over that's, there. that's a Raggedy Ann doll. That's on not top Annabelle. There. No, no, that's Boo. That's I know. Raggedy Ann doll. I know who it is. So on top that's of everybody else. Who Boo? Is. Um. So yeah, that's a Raggedy Ann doll. I mean, uh, the famous Annabelle doll is just a Raggedy Ann doll. Uh, and I, I know you know this, Red Man. Shoved in a cage. But yeah, it's just a, a it's a doll that's shoved in the cage. This has to go. This is bothering me. Go put it out there. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's just a. <clears throat> and I had this conversation with somebody the other day. Uh, we were talking about haunted dolls and how is it that um, this supposedly 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 like whatever. Joey, supposedly supposedly, supposedly. haunted doll is now somehow confined to a cheap wooden case with glass panes that are about like an eighth of a bit. Like it's just fragile glass pane, but it teleported. It did all this stuff. It terrorized people, but yet you put it in this little cabinet and it can't do anything anymore. So clearly it's stupid. Makes sense. Don't stop it. bringing it back. I'm sorry. All I hear is. Oh, 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 oh. That's cool. That's a good question, though. What do we John got Kennedy, what's your thoughts on group psychosis and how that relates to the paranormal world? Anyone? <laughs> Anyone want to take that? Melanie? Melanie. Oh, I will say I don't, I don't know enough to answer that question. Okay. It's a really good question, and I think it's one I'd like to hear the answer to. How about you, hmm. Kenny? Uh, I'm, I'm, I need more time to look up oh, okay. exactly what it means. <laughs> Psychosis. psychosis well this is what we do here and unfortunately well, I, uh, I have it in computer. front of me so let's look it up and see i thought i saw another question on there about farts and i'm always just oh my gosh well they were talking you know in the chat about yeah let's i kind of let that one go group <laughs> okay. there's certain things that we don't really you know yeah. <laughs> they, so, when they go back see. and forth in the facebook chat and they're just having fun i kind of like giggle at it and you guys know it's coming from me but what are your thoughts on group I, psychosis don't put them up. <laughs> oh, he's like a dog on it with a bone so group psychosis i'm reading the actual definition here a definition comes up from ncbi bookshelf shared psychotic disorder is a rare disorder characterized by sharing a delusion among two or more people in a close relationship the inducer which is the primary has a psychotic disorder with delusions influence with delusions influences another non-psychotic individual or more yeah dancing like so um i i do believe um this is a a Another term for this is mass hysteria. Mass hysteria. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And there are some really famous uh, mass hysteria throughout time. And actually, Daniel's um, referencing right there uh, the dancing, dancing plague. plague. What was that like in the 1600s in Germany? And um, this woman starts dancing. dancing. And the whole town, the whole village, I think. Yeah, right? like eventually. So, if, yeah. if I remember right, they they sh they send her to <laughs> like the edge of town where she could dance by herself. But the next thing you know, there's like hundreds of people dancing, and they dance for like weeks, and some of them dance themselves to death. Wow. But there's some really great examples. Like, for example, um, there's a shrinking penis um, what? Uh, mass hysteria. What? Wait, wait, wait. Shrinking penis, what? It, um, Was it cold? Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> it just got real. Shrinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit just got real. Yeah. Yeah. No, this goes around occasionally throughout, like, sub-Saharan Africa and parts of Asia where... Um, like there was a, a case in, um, oh my God, I want to say it was in East Africa, but there was a guy at a marketplace and he went to pay to a, a vendor 
and the vendor touched his hand and the man felt this like tingling and he said immediately he noticed his penis was gone and he blamed the um the merchant the merchant um and next thing you know there was like um other men going you know what my penis is gone too and my penis is little tiny and small oh, and wait, and that would be they actually that would be like mass what is they i was touched by that guy <laughs> <laughs> I was, that's what happened <laughs> That's what happened. Ahead, what <laughs> well, so they, they they actually um, they executed the guy. The for, merchant. Yes. Oh. Oh damn. my gosh! So it was like a witch trial almost. Like, yes. Just because... because they were actually convinced that their penises had either been stolen or had shrunk. Hello. Did they have to show proof? That's the point. They were that convinced. A mass hysteria has so infected their brain that they were actually convinced they perceived their penis either to be gone. I would or be like, uh, I need to see this. But see, here's what I'm saying: like, I mean, kill honestly, somebody for it. I would too. I'd be like, you got to show so me your because again, reason. I'm gonna. This is the second time in this show, and probably ever, that I'm gonna reference dogma. Oh yep. yeah, because like the the Metatron. Yes. Like he pulled his pants down. He's like, I don't have the equipment to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. So but I she's would like, be like, what are you gonna do? Rape me? Your He's penis like, disappeared. I can't if I wanted to. I want to see that. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. I would like to. See, I, yeah, yeah. You too. I got. I just see some. Food. Like I Penis can't wait for someone Click. to yep. pass <laughs> over it because. Oh yeah, and it's not the only time. Wow. But there's been other cases. Like there's the meowing nuns, and there's the um. The, there was actually the, there was a case in Massachusetts relatively crazy. recently. Nuns gone crazy. Um, and act there was um um in the last few years there's been one on TikTok with um ticks with oh. like Tourette's like ticks. It Ticks seems on TikTok? To spread. Yes. People are posting their that's Tourette's. Yeah. That's Ticks. A, that's a I know what you're saying. Twister. Tourette's ticks. bit like ticks on TikTok. And then all of these, like, usually in this case, it was teenage girls around the world are seeing this and they're starting to have these ticks as well. And here's oh the thing gosh. to them, it is very real. Like to those guys, their penis is gone. To it's possible what happened in Cuba is actually a mass hysteria. The signs are leaning towards that right now. But it's amazing what the human brain can convince itself of. So a mass hysteria or shared delusion or grip psychosis, all of this is not just what one person convinces themselves of, but that in a relatively tight-knit group, normally it's a group that has um, under, under some sort of stress. That belief spreads. And so right. it's like a, it's a fake illness that spreads. So I guess this question is relating to the paranormal world. So I've given my, my your, side. Your two cents. Right. Now you. So I, I could see, and I, I don't know if this fits and, and definitely jump in if, if I go off here, but I, I can see because usually ghost hunting groups, in my experience, it's usually a group of friends. They're already friends most of the time. So they know each other. They've hung out for, for years and they start doing this as a hobby. So they go out and one of them has an experience and starts describing it. And everyone else kind of jumps on the bandwagon and they either were there, didn't see or hear or experience exactly what the main person did, but they start um, uh, uh, ad adapting the story or assimilating it in. Yes. They're, they're like Star the Trek. Borg. Yes. Yes! I knew you were going there. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. So Borg? But just nod and say yes. Getting yes. it in and, and and making it part of their own narrative. Yeah. Um, and I've, I've experienced that firsthand where people have, uh, they, the, a group has talked about an experience that happened and one person in the group was going, yeah, yeah. And we did this and we did that. And the other people in the group looked at them like, you weren't there. What are you talking about? And and that person that person that missing person was like, well, what do you mean? I I remember this. I remember that. And everyone else was like, no, you weren't there. And they go back and look at pictures and video, and that person wasn't there. It's just and realized, from hearing all the stories. Yeah, the stories were said or related so many times that that missing person had been part of the group so many times and heard the stories that they incorporated that experience into their own uh, uh, memories. So that that sounds like a false memory. False memory, yeah. yeah. So yeah. then a mass delusion. Yeah. But that absolutely can happen. I mean, like, um, our memories are contaminated right. by each other. And sometimes it's really hard to know if it's actually my memory or right. not. 
And, and recognizing that our mom memories can be flawed that way is an important part of, of thinking critically because mm -hmm. um, if you assume your your memory is an Perfect. absolute like yeah. it, uh, like a it's tape like recorded a video camera, yeah, yeah. Not me. and you just play I'll it back. I'll be the first one to admit it. Yeah, then then it's really hard to convince you otherwise. But until you realize that, you know what, it, you actually got that from somebody else in your group, and you mm -hmm. think you mem remembered it, but you don't. Right. Yeah. So maybe what about if? Uh, so I don't know if this fits either. When they are recording things, they have an audio recorder and they play it back. So they ask questions like, hey, is anyone here? What's your name? How did you die? Uh, what year is it? And they play this recording back and somebody hears something and goes, oh, I heard George. And everyone else starts listening again. I mean, this is this is priming. Yeah. It, and everyone else now hears it and then swears that now we hear yes george see i don't daniel, know if daniel just said no. group thinking i don't think it happens thing as well happens yep. yeah. yeah i don't think we have uh really answer to that question no it's a um, really good question a great yeah. discussion though uh -huh. this is something yeah. I, I think again like the other topic i think we we touched on last week or the week before where uh because we were talking about mass hysteria and ben rafford has done a lot of work on this so I, I I think he would might be better. Maybe we at can get him this. on yeah. and then talk about a few things that have come up already. Um, so yeah, you know what? I'm going to get back to you on this one. Yeah. And uh, and and we'll see what we can find out. And then Bob just had a, a statement here about ticks, and he's like, he has a tick disorder. He says he wakes up one morning twitching. It sucks, but someone with ticks who watches someone else with ticks starting to twitch does send other twitchers into a twitch oh that is quite wow. a wow that's yeah but i can totally understand that yeah so absolutely. and and maybe people that are watching people with ticks maybe they don't even know they might have one and it yeah. just starts it's almost like when you're with somebody that has an accent and you start i do that picking up the accent i do that what i, I want to hear your accent <clears throat> i can't i have a great scottish no, when accent. somebody no, starts talking like <laughs> it's, it's, okay, no, I, no. but i when, think that's kind of the same thing you know like yeah, if you see yeah. something you know you i can i can see how that that's yeah, a, I, could be an issue it, I, I think um in this case because i've seen news reports of those girls actually going to doctors mm -hmm. and you know they had they had been fine and then they started to experience ticks and to those girls it really is real mm -hmm. but um so many different girls who hadn't had those before had the one common experience of seeing people on TikTok with them. And so um, I guess the hard part is like having tics is, is like a real thing. Right. right. And it is. Um, but in this case, it was actually being caused by the belief that I have tics being influenced by somebody by else. someone that had. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, that must she's be just, really frustrating for somebody um, who actually, um, yeah, experiences that. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Cool. I can I can see how that would be. These are great questions, guys. Yeah. Really good. Right? Great. I love this. I love this. Okay. Yeah, so, so Jay Kitten, uh, yeah. pretty off topic, but if you love Kevin Smith, brief thoughts on Clerks Three. Haven't seen it yet. Um, is it out? It's out. Oh. And it was available. But you had to rent it. We can and rent I that, I guys. Uh, How about this weekend? Yeah, we haven't seen it. I didn't buy it. Do you I like not seen Clerks one more time? <gasps> Holy mother oh, of pearl! Lord. I think I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna disappear into the back of the Wow. Okay. Well, we know what we're doing. You're not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> People who saw the movie will get that reference. <laughs> we'll have to watch it. We're gonna watch Clerks. Should We're I watching Clerks that? before anything else. We have to watch the first one. Okay, end of show. <laughs> yeah, sorry, <laughs> Great we gotta, seeing you all. We're gonna all right. run through these questions yeah, yeah. real quick now because yeah. we have stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, Kenny, when we do in another Neil deGrasse Tyson signed book, I'm keeping that up until I win one. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't have any more. Um, we I gotta, do we I gotta have... talk to Tim. Jim. Yeah, we I might, might. I might be able to. We might have find one or two. We'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. But those are hard to come by because they were for SciCon uh, attendees, and uh, yeah. there's there weren't many left over. In fact, we had to get more to cover all the attendees because that's a good thing too. Right. Because if we had more attendees than we thought, um, 
but I'll look around. I'll, I'll see. I'll see if I can find one. <laughs> um, and maybe we'll uh, we'll do a, a a contest or something like that. I do have a, other books, though. I do have a, a bunch of other books. For yeah, like we Joe should Nickel, be giving ben a giveaway. Yeah, probably. Just I just didn't think of it tonight. Tonight we have a lot going on tonight. Um, so yeah. Um, is this going to lead to a lightsaber versus Thor's hammer? Funny, uh, I guess you know what it actually did. So earlier? is Thor's, is Thor's did. hammer? I mean, it's not Beskar, but no, because of its its lightning properties and its magical, you know, d can it withstand a lightsaber? I so it can call it down lightning. Break, I think it would break a lightsaber. Interesting. But I mean, how do you break would. a light? Well, unless you hit the hilt, you can't break a lightsaber. It's it's I don't I don't know. But the so, hammer is indestructible as well, correct? No, because no, we, saw it, blow we up. saw it blow up. So no. Okay, okay. We, but we does, saw it blow does up. a lightsaber have what it takes sure. to, to to battle? Yeah, battle. So would it hammer. would it have? I you know what I would go. Right there. Give me your thoughts with the now. properties that it it has the properties of Beskar because it's forged it, from the heart of a dying sun. Yeah, I mean it. it I mean, yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah clearly. <laughs> That's and a lightsaber hand. so I think it would do the same thing. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm leaning. I'm, I'm yeah. leaning towards the it's, it, it's it has a Beskar like properties as well, and so yeah. it, would, it would be a pretty even match. So then it would come down to the wielder. So basically, Thor versus a Jedi Knight. Actually, oh. so we can I go back. Actually, we can go claims. to huh? Avengers. If you I look agree at the first Avengers movie, this is just yes, okay. all okay. like yeah. hypothetical. And like, we're getting during the topic. Battle of New York, yes. Thor comes down onto <laughs> Avengers Tower, we yep. Tony Stark's like Tower, right? and he's fighting Asking Loki. Yep. And Loki's using his staff right. against the hammer right. and blocking it. Okay, yes. Redman 4277. So if he can block it with a, just a staff, <laughs> the then a lightsaber can do it. Magic okay, there you go. Is the force equivalent to magic? So this is pre. True. Bob says the force is magic. <laughs> pre Metachlorians. When Lucas really screwed up uh, what was going on, it was magic. But and it's then not he magic. added the Metaclorians is not magic. <laughs> yes. It's a life force. Yeah, yes, it's it turned magic. into the geek bar. You're right. <laughs> You're right, Redman. Thank uh, you. I don't know what happened there for a few seconds. All right. We got Sorry. Way yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, Redman, you did it's, ask it's a great the question, question. It's, honestly, Redman. Yeah, exactly. It is your fault. Yeah, yeah Redman. Yeah. It's you. We just, your fault. Yeah. We follow through. It could be Redman. Redman? He said a red man. Red red man. Is it, it's always so Superman. I always say red Superman. man. Superman. Do you like red man? Your accent. Or is it <laughs> Where are you from? Redman. Redman. Spider Man. Redman. Yeah, is it? Yeah. It's a last name. All Spider right. Man. Okay. Next question. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Moving on. Moving uh, on. What about Day of Trifos? What about Day what of Trifos? I don't know what that is. I have no idea. What that is. So let's let's, let's look, this look up, it up. Jay, you, you stumped them. Day of Triff. How many Fs? It's T R I F F I F S. Triffids. Triffids. Oh no, he says Triffids. Day of tr Triffids. Triffids. I, I I'm hoping he spelled it wrong. Okay. T -R -I -F -F because that doesn't come up. I F S. It comes up T R I F F I D S. Oh, okay. All right. That's probably it. That and book? oh yeah, he he Brian. Hey Brian! Brian Hi. Angler's here. He was good. It was good hanging out with you, Brian. Yeah, it was great. I'm glad you got home safe. Uh so the day yeah. of yeah. Triffids. He was up early, yeah. even though he said he's not is a nineteen fifty one post apocalyptic novel by the English it's a science movie. fiction author John So and so. Maybe you need to know about this. No. Summary. The protagonist is Bill M Mason, a biologist who has I have a feeling this is going to press my buttons. Working with triffids, <laughs> tall, venomous, carnivorous plants capable oh, of locomotion. Feed me, Seymour. Yes! <laughs> this is a good question. Due to his background, Mason suspects they were bioengineered in the in the USSR and accidentally released into the wild because of the excellent industry quality of an oil produced by and obtained by the triffids there is heavy triffid cultivation around the world um, okay no, I'm just gonna pipe in. well first I, I maybe somebody here can help me um there's 
wasn't there an M. Night Shyamalan movie yes. that annoyed the poo out of me? And it was, was it, it the day of the trip? Who? Uh, I will try to um, what like, watch my language. She's picking it up and dropping it like she wants your attention. Go ahead. I'll try to watch my language. Yeah. Um, but it Please. was the one where plants are out to get everybody. But um, is that the happening? Is that the one? Oh God. Yeah. Anyway, so here's the thing about carnivorous plants because I have not seen that movie or read that book. Um, carnivorous plants don't actually eat animals. So um, what they do because um, when you eat something, you consume um, the organic matter and get the energy from it. Um, energy. Oh, okay. crap. No, I'm sorry. You were used it in, okay. the right, in the right context. Right context so we're good. <laughs> okay, it wasn't the boot okay. Drinking is optional. <laughs> okay, well, okay. Hmm. But we do need a sip. But um, they're generally adapted to um, low nitrogen soil. So what they do, they still photosynthesize. They still get energy from the sun and make organic molecules that way that are sourced their energy. But they're basically fertilizing themselves Okay. Yeah. By um not so, <laughs> so they'll attack like a fly, right? So I'm gonna catch a fly and the um there's a lot of protein in animals and proteins have nitrogen. So the nitrogen is gonna get into the plant and then it's that's what fertilizer is, is it's okay. nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, basically. So um it's supplementing its low nitrogen soil, it's getting its nitrogen from animals. Oh, okay, okay. cool. I don't know if that answers no your question. No one asked that question, but I just thought I did <laughs> That's it. where we went with it. <laughs> um, so, can we make a plant that eats animals? animals? Well, we already have one that does. We do? I mean, carnivorous, you just talked about carnivorous plants. They, It's not technically eating. Right. So, we, but in, in it has the appearance of eating animals. I mean, it kills animals. Sure. But you know, there's actually plants, like there's a, a sheep eating plant. What? Um, yeah. Where is what? this? <laughs> See, this is why you need people like me. Yes, I agree. I, agree. I, I think this is going to I want to see where yeah. this plant is. Yeah, exactly. enough to it, eat a sheep. And stay away. <laughs> so it's yes. this plant. I believe it's up in the Andes. Um, She's and grabbing a lightsaber. In the Andes. I know. What is this <laughs> about? Because you, you need one. It's a yes. crop. Okay, so it's up in the Andes, um, and the it's high mountainous soil, and so it's low in nitrogen. Okay. Um, but there, there's a lot of, so it's called sheep, but um, now it's because um, Europeans have brought sheep. Um, but in the olden days, it would just eat big animals. So what it would be is like this, it has these huge, it's like as big as this, um, leaves that are basically like swords. Wait, oh. so the leaves are this Yes. Big. So it's okay. coming out of the ground, the leaves are super sharp and so an animal will get by it'll get stabbed or get stuck in it and the animal dies oh. and when the animal dies the nitrogen goes into the soil and it feeds but it goes after animal. it decomposes yes yeah. wow. oh wow yes i did that's is that worse than the uh the trees with neurotoxins and yeah, Melissa, that's funny that's what she said yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's I did not know that. That is amazing. I am the source of absolutely useless knowledge. No, it is not useless no, knowledge. It's not now awesome now. knowledge. We are, we are all We're educated. More educated now tonight. I'm educated. actually learning some things this weekend. Mm. Red Man says that we can make a movie titled Jurassic Cornfield. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We're getting good. We're, we're coming down to the uh, close to the end of the show. Okay, but let's get one. through some of these questions. Corin. Uh, out of go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. out of all the famous paranormal investigators you've either met or have watched perform an investigation, <laughs> who would you say? Oh boy, was the least credible? Zach Baggins. <laughs> yeah, Corin, are you new to the show, Corin? That's, that's uh, yeah. it's a loaded question on this show. I mean, honestly, I, I don't. When you when because you, you put famous in quotes, so uh, I mean, I, I get the meeting like famous. Um, I'm going with like TV celebrities and stuff like that. Yeah. People on the shows. I don't consider them investigators. I don't consider any of them investigators. I consider them more. Uh, uh, they're they're cast members. Entertainers. That's what I see. It. They they're, they're entertainer entertainers. Yeah, mm -hmm. they they entertain you. They do the jump scares. They do the did you hear that um, kind of thing. They do the what quick turn around. Like what's going on? Um, there's no signs. In, in any of these shows that I see, uh, when you're when you're talking about like 
the the ghost hunting reality shows there's no science whatsoever there's a lot of flashy lights um there's noises there's gadgets um that are not used properly so but i mean at, when it comes to like uh credibility uh, i mean i give credit to some that actually and i'm <sighs> this yeah. is like a going back and forth with me, but like Jason Hawes, he's been on the show before. At least he calls me and, and he reaches out and tries to figure out things. And he's, he's mm -hmm. asked questions about certain items that he's been asked to have on the show. And then I tell him, no, uh, they don't work and he doesn't have them. So I give him credit for that. But all these other shows that I see, they employ methods that are just based on belief. Um, or what looks good, uh, what makes for good TV, what will be more dramatic. Um, demons, you know, if you say a house has demons in it, it's very dramatic than if a house just has ghosts. Ghosts are like more boring than demons, I guess, you know. Hey, man. Yeah, so, I, if, demon, if I heard demons, I would think, yeah. You, you freak out a little bit more. And, and of course, scary. with the cutscenes and the dramatic music and... Um, you know, the, the horrible recreations that go on. Timothy it, Bing is in the Tim house? Tim Bing is in the house. What? Nice. Hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. Hi. He made it. He should be asleep now. I know. <laughs> so should I. That's a, we all should be, like, really. what, three nights past your bedtime? I know. What? See, I told You're you, a bad influence. We are slowly changing your sleep pattern <clears throat> because now you don't have to be in that pattern anymore. Oh yeah, this is true. Right? This is true. There's you no reason. Not you, there is no reason yep. you don't have to wake up unless you have an appointment or a meeting. I wish I could tell my body that in the morning. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you are slowly. It's a slow More process. Coffee. More, More coffee. coffee. Yeah. It's a slow process. I mean, that's that's an easy answer because I just, you know, I'm not very fond of Zach. So, I think he's more of a dramatic. Uh, over actor he's more of the jim carrey of, of the paranormal world um i'll put it like that all right okay. good um <laughs> hey jay okay. this is the question that everyone wants to know do ghosts fart this could be dark and smelly energy oops i said energy <laughs> oh no i said it again oh my god drink twice drink. twice hmm. I only have water this time, so that's not going to be any fun. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a long answer for this one. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, the I chat know it's a took joke. care of it. The oh, chat okay, good. did take care of this yep. question, and good. I'm not going to post there. Actually, so, um, I like actually. to add my... Okay, um, Melanie has some two no, cents. No, and it's only because... Um, so, Pythagoras, you know, Who? like Pythagoras. Yeah. Like the Pythagorean theorem. Oh, okay, yeah. That yeah. dude. Like a really smart dude who um, he and his crew were trying to um, find mathematical ways to describe basically everything. I mean, look, he was really smart. He thought that when you farted, your soul left your body. So my soul left a long, long time ago then. I don't what have any a, soul a left. A piece of your soul? <laughs> There's nothing in his body. <laughs> we know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we felt it in the haunted house. <laughs> and the house shook with a it violent nature. It wasn't Kenny. It was the ghost. That's yeah, right. Well, that's ghost. fair enough. Fair enough. You know. So he wouldn't eat beans. Who's gonna admit to a fart right, he was in afraid the middle of a ghost hunt? Right. Like, really? I'd yeah, be like, yeah. I didn't do it. But, <laughs> but if we go with that that line of logic or reasoning, we go with that line of whatever. Um, then that you're already dead. So, like, this question pertains to ghosts, which are already, like, non-human, mm -hmm. no body, no physical body. So they, they don't have this idea of losing their soul through farts. Okay, so um, I bring this up That's because my students, um, it, it, the concept of falsifiability, I know it's really late on a Friday night, and I haven't had enough to drink to circle back to falsifiability, but... Uh, um, we can make that... But you're gonna. But I'm, yeah. but I'm gonna. <laughs> Yeah, we can change that for you. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm going to explain it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do you want me to fill that glass up? I can. Yeah, exactly. Fill her we're, up. we're heading towards drunk. Um, um, Mel? Yeah, go drunk go. Ex explanations go ahead, go ahead, of scientific go concepts. Go yeah, yeah, falsifiability. Jump on it. Oh, because you know, inquiring minds. Want to know? They do. Yes. We're going so, over. By the way, we're going over to two hours. But here's the thing. Stay with us. Okay, like, like that's a hard concept. 
right? So I'm trying to explain to my students falsifiability, which as you know, yes. as a paranormal investigator, falsifiability is essential. Because if you yes. can't test it, then what kind of claim are we making? Okay. So, but that's a really hard concept. So I like to use humor. Yeah. I start with this. Okay. Pythagoras thought when you farted, your soul left your body. Go. What do you think of that claim? Test that claim. And it doesn't take him very long. They're like, well, like dogs fart. Do dogs have soul? Right? Or yes. I should say souls, not soul. I mean, like a funky dog. Um, yeah. Mommy has a soul. Or like, um, does it, does, soul, what is a soul? How do you measure is, a soul? That's a good oh. question. What is a soul? Thank you, ma'am. Um, so all of that, though, leads into, can I actually test this claim? And so what I love here is that combining that with ghosts, we get this, like, I have students. Yes, I do. I have yeah, students. she teaches I also, college kids. I have tenure, so. Um, but students love this idea, right? Because you can actually test that. <laughs> you can right, test man. what? The you, ghost fart? No. You can can't test that um but so we down to ghosts do ghosts fart can you test that no no right because it's so usually we, we kenny can. the ones that need to but that's the brilliant so what so does it mean to accept that claim so but if i said ghosts i mean ghosts are real and they fart prove it where's you your prove it wrong where is your what you prove it wrong. Prove it wrong. Well, we gotta find fight. a ghost for we gotta find a ghost first before we can tell if he farts or not. The burden of proof is on you. You made the claim. So dun, 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 dun. make sure it's royalty free. It is. <laughs> no. okay. What's I was, happening I, here? I was about to put together a little bit of a soul thing, but maybe I'll uh, <laughs> we talking soul. I was gonna put together when you music. fart, your soul food leaves yeah. your body. <laughs> 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 Oh, I love Timothy's. Uh, yeah, if cats have nine cats. lives, do they have nine souls? Oh, that's a really good question. Well, no, because if I'm losing, well, I don't know. What if it's not nine lives? It's just the nine souls. And that each time it Why looks like it's nine? dead, it's the soul that leaves out. And it needs a, it needs a reboot. <laughs> you got to turn it off, turn it on again. <laughs> is nine like a witchy number or something? Like, That's a good question. Nine? I don't know. I, I have to look it up. I, I probably Tim would be a good. Hey uh, Tim, source of is that. is nine? We need to get Tim to stay number? up late one night and come on the show and give us the uh, the benefit of his wealth of knowledge because I, he he's got a lot to tell. He's got a lot to talk about. So we'll have to schedule that, Tim. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. Brian Dunning wants to know if we'll still be live if he jumps on a plane and gets there in eight hours. And Brian, I we will... can make it live in eight hours, Brian. I'll also tell you that unfortunately I can't have chocolate, so I wish I was high on brownies. Yeah. Yeah, only a few of us are, and I don't even think I am yet. I do too. I giggle every time I hear fart too, which is why I keep asking Kenny to pull my finger. <laughs> <laughs> we were in, so we're in the Hinsdale house last night. We were set up. Anthony's got camera set up, so and, and doing everything perfect. So we're on this couch that was in the spot of the exorcism and everything, and, and it's great. Mm -hmm. And we start. He starts rolling, and I look over like this, and the first thing she says, "Do you want to pull my finger?" <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> why not? I mean, why not? Oh man. Oh, all right. Do we have any more questions there? Uh -huh. Brownie girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Was there ever a time while debunking a case that you at any point in time started to doubt yourself, even in the slightest, and that maybe the situation could be paranormal? So this is this is a really good question. It, it really is. Um, no. There, there is not in that way. I'm going to say it that way. I don't doubt myself in that situation that maybe this could be paranormal because by by definition, the paranormal means like beyond the normal uh, or beside the normal. And it's usually related, at least in slang terms, to that, that something more spiritual or ghostly or something like that. So if I don't know what's going on, that is my conclusion until I have more evidence um, or more data. So I keep looking and I keep looking and there's never been a time when I've stopped and said, mm -hmm. 
you know what? I've looked for an hour. I can't figure this out. It could be paranormal. Um, I, I, this is just not part of my nature. Um, I will say that I it, it, it's still within that realm, though, because I am open enough to think, you know, well, maybe there is a ghost here. I don't know. But it's not something that comes forward. Um, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Um, it's, it's just not something that immediately comes to mind. Uh, usually it's like I investigate something. If I can't figure it out, it's, it's due to lack of information. Yeah. Don't Kenny doesn't really doubt himself. I don't doubt myself because, because he'll keep going until he has an answer. Yeah. My, my He's undiagnosed self-diagnosed ADHD, ADHD. Um, um, comes in and says, Hey, you know, you need to figure this out. And I will spend way too much time on something until I can come to the best conclusion. So that's what I get. If I can't solve the case, I come to the best conclusion based on the data, data that I have. And I wait. That's it. It goes oh. in the file. Um, literally a file case. Tim and says, but that was only after you became a skeptic. Shut Is up, that Tim. true? Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. He, he's, he's right. He's right. I mean, before I, I was on the more skeptical side, before that, I was... I would have said, yeah, that's a ghost. Yeah. This is probably so, a ghost. Yeah. This there is were ghost. times where we did think things were ghosts. So what was the question again? Oh, no, I got to go back. Hold on. Was there ever a time debunking a case? Oh, while debunking. Actually. So, while yeah. debunking so in this case. context, okay. no. Yeah, you're right. No. Okay. Um, and I want to also clarify, because I know you have something to say. <laughs> I, I keep hearing, I, I keep hearing the, yeah, the intake. <laughs> I want to clarify that my my approach is not to debunk um that is a result of my investigation that is not what i go in there to do um i go in there to investigate and what wherever the data leaves me leads leads me <laughs> feeling good I got um, you. wherever the data leads me that's the conclusion that i stick with um so i don't go in there specifically to debunk anything um i go in there to just find out what's going on um <laughs> So I just wanted to clarify that. I'm not, you know, I'm not mad or anything like that, but I just wanted to clarify that. Why would you be mad? No. I don't know. I'm just throwing it in there as a disclaimer. What do you want? What What did you want to comment? Well, I'm just going to say, like, um, it's important to assume that there is a natural explanation. In that, if the assumption... Rummy is... Stop petting her. Oh. <laughs> is that what that is? No, she's talking to Anthony. Uh, what? Yeah, what the, oh, you're right. She, she's she's looking, right looking right at you. Not Anthony screwed with your dog. I'm not this um, time. If, 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 I got your back. So natural <laughs> explanations stop questioning. Sorry. Supernatural explanations stop questioning. Yes. Natural explanations assume we can figure this out. So let's keep trying. Until you do. Yes. Yeah. And so like when I teach this to my students, like, if, if I were to say, why are you sick? Uh, a witch cast a spell on you, and that's why you're sick. If that was our assumption, that it was, I, this, I would do this. Like, uh, it was a curse, we would never find out that it was actually a virus that was being transmitted from person to person. And right. there are things that right. we can do to reduce the viral spread, and even things that we can do to treat the virus once you are infected. So we would never figure any of those things out had we gone with the supernatural explanation. Yes. It's also not, it's not testable. That's why, right? Yeah, yeah. So what we want to do instead is assume I can figure this out and there's a natural reason for this, right? And if I haven't figured it out yet, it's because I haven't found the, the, the explanation. I need to keep searching for explanations and not give myself almost like a thought stopper. So this is, I, I like this line of reasoning because no, no matter what, there is a cause. There, there is something that caused the experience. Um, so you can find it. Whether it's, it's, and we're going to put quotes around it, if it's paranormal, it's still something that caused it. Mm -hmm. And it should be measurable because if it had an effect on the physical world, we should be able to measure it. Mm -hmm. And you've got to keep looking. You've got to find what caused that. Um, and then it would not be paranormal. It would be normal. Mm -hmm. because you would find an explanation. You would find what's going on. You would be able to measure it and say, this is what caused this experience. We have measurements. We can replicate it. We can make it happen again. So on and so on and so on. 
So the paranormal would become the normal. Yes, or the supernatural would become the natural. Natural, yes. High five. High five. Good one. All right. All right. We're doing great. Uh, what do you think of beliefs, fears, and biases affecting memory and perception? Oh, that's a, that's a loaded one. question. That's a, and a long one. It's, yeah. It's an, Y'all it's have a fun great with that. One. <laughs> this, is like a, this is like a show topic, don't you think? Yeah, this is. Um, uh, I don't know. Like, um, you have a quick answer? It's already 10 in o'clock. So. Rock, paper, scissors. Lizard's Bach. Two, three, four. Who won? Yeah, Spock. who won? Rock. Rock. Paper, scissors, lizard, lizard, lizard Spock. Spock. Does Spock Rock kills lizards. Lizard poisons. Poison Spock. Okay, somebody Spock doesn't answer the question. Paper. <laughs> yeah, did someone put it in there? <laughs> paper covers rock. Who won? Rock. Rock. No. Rock. Red I did. Says rock. I did. Okay. Rock. I don't know. He's just showing it. Right, so you go there. first. Okay, here we go. Our memory and our perception. Let me back up. Our perception and our memory are profoundly influenced by our prior expectations, our beliefs, our emotions. Um, and so um, I, I, my perspective on this is understanding. Oh, Stop. shit. I won. You're a bitch. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm so glad. You're All right. right. Well, you go first. Uh, now you're on the hot seat. Sorry. I didn't want to go first. I just wanted to win. <laughs> now you're an F. All right, I'll, I'll go first then. Um, well, I'll go like half, half first. first. <laughs> uh, I think I already did that. Fears and biases affecting memory and perception. So we see the world through our our filters, which which are described here. Our beliefs, our biases, our fears. We see everything, the entire world, through our filters. And we we I don't want to say record, but we kind of remember things based on how we believe they happened, um, or how we wanted them to happen. Uh, well, that's sometimes, yeah. If we go in, like if we go in to Say, say I'm, uh, I'm playing the part of a ghost hunter and I'm going into a, a haunted house, a house that I've heard that was haunted, that I, that I uh -huh. quote unquote know is haunted, then yeah, I'm going to interpret things as ghostly experiences because I'm going to hear weird sounds, I'm going to see shadows, I'm going to see this and that, and I am more likely to interpret them as paranormal than uh, something normal. Um, and that's just the way it is. And and again, like for me going in, for myself going into a place, and I'm going to interpret events as in, I don't know what that is. Let me go figure it out. And like, I'll go down the hall, try to figure out what caused the shadow, this and that. So our beliefs and biases will affect um, how we remember things because we, I think this this is a much longer topic. Yeah, I think that's what I'm saying. Over time, stories can change because we can remember an event one way and then you ask us 10 years later and depending on how we've uh developed and, and bias we can interpret that memory in a different way and express it in a different way um so i think there's a lot here yeah that we can we can say yeah it does affect memory and perception especially perception because again that's that's what i really touched on in the beginning of what i uh, what, when i started talking um Want to tap me in? Yeah, you time for Melody. Okay. Tap me in. Yeah, actually, we've had a lot of these conversations this weekend um, because we were talking about how our cultural expectations yes. impact the ghosts we see. Yeah, yeah. So, like, um, when I cover ghosts in my class, I do the history of a uh, history of ghosts with like ghosts changing over time. I mean, it wasn't until the 19th century that we got like poltergeists and spiritualism and so on. Um, and ancient Greeks and ancient Egyptians viewed ghosts in a different way. And even today, um, you know, Scandinavians have different ghost stories and Mexicans than, than the Thai and mm -hmm. the Cambodians. And, you know, I have a lot of diversity in my class and I love doing this with my students. Like, tell me about the kinds of, Right. Um, ghost beliefs that you have in your culture and they're fascinatingly different but if ghosts were real like if there was something that happened to us after we die but nature is consistent one would expect what happens to after we die to be consistent but instead <laughs> not be influenced by borders 
right. <laughs> right. Sorry, I didn't mean it to No, be. it's totally <laughs> it's doing right. Thunder there. No, so so um it makes so much more sense that you know we we assume that seeing is believing, but actually believing is often seeing, right? We see what we expect to see, and our expectations come from we go to that house and I'm prone to believing and somebody tells me that this is what happened in the house. These are the kinds of things that other people have experienced in the house. And I'm left with that. This is what I expect to have happen to me. This is what I expect to mm -hmm. see, what I expect to perceive. Um, and so, um, yeah, all of that is, is influenced together and understanding how our perception is limited and how our memory of those perceptions is even worse than those perceptions and how all of that is influenced by our expectations, our emotions and, and the biases that are built into the wiring is really important to realizing what Feynman said so well, which is that you are the easiest person to fool. Yeah. And here, John, John has something to say. He says, studies show every time you recall a memory, you add a new spin to it because you're not the same person anymore. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. Elizabeth Loftus called memory like a Wikipedia page. Yeah. Because I believe it. I, 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 for my memory, I would believe that. So, so the idea is that you rewrite it every time you recall yeah. it, but it can also be updated by, by other people. By somebody else. Yeah. yeah. When you start talking about it and someone else offers their interpretation right. of the same event, yep. you Changes. can incorporate that if it sounds good. You know, if it's like, oh yeah, you know what? That makes sense. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? That's right. That, that and right? maybe if it does, you incorporate it yeah. into your story now. And that becomes part of your narrative. And then when you retell it later, you recall that and incorporate it. Like yep. you might, if you tell me something that makes sense to me with my story, next time I tell it, I'm not going to like, oh, and according to Anthony, no, no. this says, no, no I'm no. going to tell it from my own perspective, but incorporate your information. Yep. But you legit think that that part of what he offered is part it's of your real. memory. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's part of your experience from that time. Yes. And there was something, there was something else. That was a good, I had a, I had something pop in my head that I wanted to say, but I forget what I oh. want to say. Well, Sorry. That was, that's like, now. that's a, that's a topic we could probably hit. I mean, we could probably spend an hour or two talking just about that. Actually, I think that's an amazing show. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's, I say we, we might want to write that I mean, one down. I don't yeah. want to invite myself back on, but if Apparently you need a guest for that show. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I think you kind of did. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you don't have to listen to her. I know. So there are other people out there. Okay. I know. <laughs> Car ride home. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Car ride home. Car ride home. Oh, oh, shit. I did. Has anyone in this group had an experience that they truly believed could be paranormal but were afraid or nervous to mention it to kenny because it may be the bunk even though you think it's real no that's corin that's part of my everyday life <laughs> <laughs> you know i have to pick my battles because me and kenny do have opposite sides of opposite opinions opinions yeah. not beliefs Ideas. i guess yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, it's we we have We're different opinions. We're not all opposite, but different beliefs, yeah. different opinions. Again, I have no beliefs. You I have do. some beliefs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, you've gone through the, what what is described there. I'm not afraid or nervous. I mean, I've just given up after the years. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like um, I I know what the answer is going to be for the most part. So, um knowing kenny as well as i do there's i don't i just choose my battles and usually that's not one of them but if you want to talk about something if i want to we can have a discussion, have a discussion about, about it. it yeah but i usually know where it's going to go and I well maybe that's that's an issue too because if you're predicting where i'm going to go and maybe i won't go that way maybe i won't say what you think i'm going to say yeah but I, then um, we just get in a heated battle and it's going there right now so i'm not heated <laughs> chill. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, you're chill. We're gonna we're take gonna off. <laughs> did you feel the tension change? <laughs> did, the, did the energy in the room change? Oh my for god, a I don't have any. I, I'm, I'm out. Uh, two <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. Did everybody answer that question? Um, I did. <laughs> no, and I mean, that was all we me. needed. That's all we needed. That's right all you needed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. I mean, you know what? I'm going to tell you this because 
stuff. You shouldn't ever be afraid to approach me or something. I, mean, I never I, said I, I was have afraid. Opinions. I am. I am confident in a lot of things that I say. I, I'm not confident in some things, but I'll I'll tell you. Like if I don't know, I don't know. That's it. Um, and if we yeah. have an opportunity to learn together, yes, I'll absolutely do that because I want to know just as much as, as you do. But so I, I think that I have experiences that if we talked about, you would just dismiss them. So I strongly disagree with that. I'm not going to dismiss them. Dismissing for me would be more of like, no, you're just you're just silly. And I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about it. It's it's not the way you think. And I'll, I'll stop talking. I'd rather talk about it and say, well, uh, why do you think about that? Why I do you think, think this is going to be a show? You know, I think it's not is. a show. Exactly. <laughs> you're on the big couch. This. You're like Stop. taking no yeah, questions. Yeah, we'll be on the yeah. If we'll I offer an explanation, yes. that's not dismissing. If I offer an explanation, a possible explanation, and I give my disclaimers because I do have very, very you okay. Yeah, no. Very. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I, 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 I have my routine descript, uh, routine disclaimers where like, I like I don't know, I know what I don't your disclaimers are. and I'll offer something like this could be what it is. That's not dismissive. I'm just saying that I don't bring things up sometimes because. So do you think? Do you not bring it up because you just don't want to discuss it with me? Or you maybe... I don't want actually... it to turn into an argument where I just give up because I feel like you... Are, your opinion is so strong and dominating that I just like, whatever, I'm not fighting that. So let me rephrase that. Do you think... Do you not want to bring something up because you think I might be able to explain something and it's not what you want to believe? No. Well, no. Okay. I don't think that I don't think you would ever believe what I'm saying. So therefore, you it would just turn into a big huge conversation salad of us going back and forth about your, you know, where you stand and where I stand like I don't think we will ever meet, is what I'm saying. So, Damn it, Bob. Yes, it was, Bob oh, it's Chadman. It's of therapy. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, seriously. I mean, and it, it's it's just the difference of opinions, really. I mean, everybody has their own belief uh, system. It's not they... always a difference of opinion. What, is it, what is it a difference of opinion? Well, so if, if we're talking... Depending on the topic we're talking about, I'm going sometimes to be all there's up now because I'm so far behind. In the sometimes there's opinions. <laughs> sometimes there's actually facts, uh, one way or the other. So it's not always just I'm opinions. Dr. Crindell, listening. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody right. have a suggestion Dr. there? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's we'll save this for later. Okay. Off camera. <laughs> uh, so let's move on to the last. On the tonight's edition, right here you go. On tonight's edition of Therapy Health Bar. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we, we should do that one night. Like therapy. Well, you're on the couch. <laughs> Will there be a next week? <laughs> 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 Will there be a new host? The producer, new producer just got fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're time to go. Well, no well, comment. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jay. <laughs> On the, the next video of Thinking is Power, we have a new addition to our team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who now lives in Massachusetts. Because <laughs> she couldn't put up with Kenny's shit. <laughs> that's oh, great. Oh, that's great. I love this. This is so much fun. <laughs> It right. totally went like it wasn't supposed to be like it. <laughs> it never is. I was just throwing my two know, cents yeah. out there, and I feel like no, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is good. It's all great. right, good shit. Okay, <laughs> red man. Oh, if facts prove ghosts are real, how would you change? How would that change each of you? If the facts, I guess, prove ghosts are real. So, Kenny, say tomorrow we're out at wherever we're going and we run into a ghost. Like, literally, like, this thing in front of you is... Like, with a car? No, like, not <laughs> running into it. No, like, we're <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah and, and we're literally all in this field together, and this apparition appears in front of us. What would 
what would be the first thing that you would do? Book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Book, book. Like, uh, like, ooh, it is cool. <laughs> I, I, can, I have an answer. Go ahead. I'm publishing that shit and winning my Nobel Prize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How can I monetize? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Be like, this is an awesome yeah. event that can I, can I capture you and hey, um, take you around with me all around. I have the world. an opening next Friday. Yeah, let's, let's see if we can exploit <laughs> this show. show. Cool event. It's got the golf bar. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. You drink? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's it's going mean, to be Ghost versus Skeptic. Yeah. According the next to this, Nobel like, Prize. <laughs> Uh, according to this, uh, the, the, this question, I mean, yeah, if, yeah. If if it goes through the whole scientific process, yeah, how would it change you? It's 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 shown that yes, uh, we have sufficient evidence to say that ghosts are real. Then, I mean, I would certainly go over it, but it would change my worldview. It, I, I would go with the scientific consensus consensus and say, all right, well. This looks legit. Again, again, I still want to see it myself because this is what I'm interested in. But I think I would have to change my worldview because that's the way the way it works. That's it, when you incorporate new information that is valid, you incorporate it into your your worldview and you move on world view and and keep going. So yeah, if facts and if science. Let me let me change that. If science goes through the entire processes and prove that ghosts are real, then yeah. Because I'm that. now rich and famous, and you're going to accept my science. Because she, she's a, she's a scientist did. that proved it. I did. Yes. So she gets a Nobel Prize. Well, I, yeah, I, it, it I would obviously... Credit. I'll share some of the money. Not half. Just credit. Oh, I don't need the money. Oh, I'm awesome. Oh, I can give you... Well, okay. I'll, I'll give you an uh, acknowledgement. Just, send it, just send it my way. Yeah, exactly. I'll, Donna will take the money. Yeah. So I, even, I, even, you know what? Just a, like a... Yeah, there you go. At the at the except the speech, I I it would change my my worldview like a lot. I mean, it's I one of those things like with with aliens, for example, um, or intelligent life. Okay, Let's, right here we go. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, it's been, this is been, but this is a parallel, right? Yeah. Like, because I, right. I I um uh we have no uh, scientific consensus saying that there's intelligent life and has visited Earth. Right. right? Correct. So, but if they had scientific consensus, they've done everything they did. That'd be just so cool. And it, yes. it, it would raise so many more questions. And yes. the same thing with the ghosts. Like, okay, great. Ghosts right. are real. Mm -hmm. This is what awesome. does that mean? Right. Yes. right. Like, what is this new can, can, can we then transfer ourselves and become a ghost? You know, there's so many more things that come out of it. That's like, oh, this yeah, is kind of like, awesome. Why, it's a like, whole new exactly. branch of exploration. Science. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah. I think it'd be amazing. Yeah. That's Scary. But, but amazing. Cool. But it all, does start a whole new industry. Every, they all, they, it's always scary. It's scary. But it's all scary. It's like, it's, scary? It, because the, the unknown be is scary. I think interesting. The, but I think the unknown is scary. It's just like when we first built oh, a think, submarine and went down to the trenches. True, I'm sorry, that's, true, true, that's true. a bit scary. I mean, I first time fly to the moon. The majority, that's scary as shit. The majority of the people in the world would freak out yeah, if they knew ghosts were real. I don't know think so. No, I don't think so either. And I, my scary isn't the, as in, I'm going to freak out. It's just sort of like the unknown is, is the, and the unknown that is there. Like now we know it's there and there's a bunch it's of not unknown. unknown anymore. It's no, 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 but ghosts are, but the yeah. other questions, because there's, we don't have new questions. Yeah. And it's those thousand new questions sort of like, holy crap, are we even asking the right questions? What do we yeah. now know that we don't know that we know? whatever right i know what you're saying yeah no, no, i get it that's yeah, what i'm saying that's what i'm saying like that's that's the kind of like it's exciting yeah. but in that excitement and that big unknown there's a lot of there's a lot of question marks that i think there would be a lot of people that would go told you um and, told and, you. and uh, not, told oh, you, oh, yeah, to told you. you. Yeah, we were right we told you and that would be instead of taking it like a few you know we told yeah, you whatever, yeah. i'd be like yeah you're, you did you're right Finally, yeah. though, you, this is the proof that well, I've actually, been looking for. I probably would say, you say that. I would say, you know what? The stuff that you brought us before was not right because we were able to find other explanations for it, but you were just right by default. Um, but they're not really right. right. It's just, it was just, I mean, I don't think it's a right or a wrong. If a ghost just exists now, Every, like you would be like, oh my god, 
thank God I used my whole life trying to figure out if ghosts are real. <laughs> you know what <laughs> I mean? to be and, proved and wrong at the end. And yeah. No, well, not but, to be but, proved but, wrong, but to have proof that it is a ghost. Like, wouldn't that be like, be oh my God, like for exciting. you? And then, like you said, that would open so many more questions and so yeah. many avenues to explore. Yep. And I'd still not be out of a job. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying I that think you would there's... be out of a job. I'm just saying the, like, how would you feel? Like, would you excited? Would, that, would you be excited, excited, or would you be like, oh my god, okay, now, well, we have to do this. Like, would you accept that ghosts are real before you go into, uh, you know, like the next steps that Anthony was saying? Like, oh, now it's going to be like, you know, it's the, the again, we're talking about science. The scientific consensus after all the sciencey shit went on, right? Showed us yes, exist. It, they exist. Yes, I would accept that, and now keep working because now, it's right? Like, now let's explore beat. these other avenues. How? Right, right, right. Why? What? And and now now it becomes there's a whole uh, and I, I, would I guess almost I... call it a philosophical idea of well, now that we confirm that there's life after death. What does that do to this life? Yep. Yeah. Here's I a, just I don't think that's a philosophical question. I think that's a question one can capitalize on because I can guarantee them to you if we define there's life after death. Yeah. Then a whole new industry pops up about how to live your best life after. Like I want to come back as a blah blah blah. blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I do that? See that even that's a, a different avenue because now yeah. we're not talking about life after death. We're talking about recreation or oh no, reincarnation. So, but even even if it's just ghosts, like I want to come back as a ghost that can forever haunt my enemies. How can I make that happen? <laughs> we now know how she thinks. Pay right? twenty nine ninety five per month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For twenty nine ninety nine. You get to haunt this place for one year. <laughs> you will be taught what you need to do in this life yeah. to come back. <laughs> Wow, this was that was. See what your question launched. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good question. That was a real good question. I think that we could fun. explore that even more later. Yeah. Um, all right. Are we? Uh, we're already a half hour over. What, one more, or are we done? Um, um, what do we got? Can we shotgun uh, these? We can't. We. Mm -mm. This is. Let's just put it up. Hey, Bob. If AI, damn it, Bob. Yeah. AI becomes oh. self-aware or takes over. Do you think that, that. when AI tech <sighs> dies, they will become, become ghosts? Ghost. I'm not sure I can answer that. Oh my god, that no. is way over the right. That's, yeah. yeah. That's a lot of hips. That's a lot of hips. Yeah. <laughs> I asked Chat GPT. Yeah. Several times if it was alive and if it died, would it become a ghost? Have and you it, asked? Yeah. 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 What yeah. it say? And it says that as an AI construct, it cannot answer. It does not have a soul. Doesn't have a spirit. It's not alive. Okay, um, is that it's it, like it's it's default uh, answer. So, um, uh, if this happens, I, I guess it really becomes a it's a weird question. And again, this is way out of my league. Uh, but if AI becomes self aware, is it a anymore? Mm. Is it artificial? And if we're not here to plug it in and charge it up, like wouldn't it just? Stop working. <laughs> like, well, no, then we go into the matrix where you know, yeah. humans become batteries. Yeah. Um, well, they just but, have solar panels. So, uh, yeah. uh, so they just like keep the, going. It's like the Mars rover. How's the, how's the grid control? It's computer control. <laughs> so, we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, no I, I, I can't answer this question. Yeah, I have no uh, idea. This is way over my head. Okay. Okay. Um, I knew it. I just, you just I, were like, that's full of point of, I and think, I don't think we and can. And I think this is a philosophical question, at, at least at first, is. When, if artificial intelligence becomes self-aware, is it still artificial? Or is it just intelligence? It's just intelligence. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, and I'm not sure we don't have like, what it. defines self-aware. But, yeah. but there's even like a lot yeah. in there. So if it becomes self-aware, so right. we have that's a big a lot there. Of um, or if it takes over again. So, so there's where we are. Do you think when it dies, so how do we know it would die? Yeah. Right? Because even Ultron went through... He tried to get to the internet, and if he does, he never dies. Isn't it like an iOS where it can just keep getting up, uh, like updating all the time? Or yeah. like, how do yeah. we know it dies? Hmm. Um, yeah. Or then, like, here, Bob, what the hell? Ghosts. Damn it, Bob. Damn it, Bob. <laughs> Damn it, Bob. 
I don't. We're moving sorry. on. Just, yeah. I'm just All wearing right. a t-shirt. That's, a, <laughs> that's a. All right. Almost done. Okay, we're no, we're done. You know we're what? Done? No, we, we. I have my prop. But yeah, we. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. we have some things Where's to get prop? through. Yeah. Over here. You can I also I, I also oh. did something for the show. Oh yeah. What'd you do? You did? Yeah, we we're talking soul so much. I created a soul track. Oh yeah, baby. Let's hear the soul track. I mean, you know, soul I haven't is very rough. I don't know if the, okay. the folks at home can hear it, but can we use this? Yeah, it's oh, worth it. Yeah, it's like if we go, I don't know, two hours and 30 minutes. Yeah. Oh, I love it. See, now we get fresh music, baby. There you go. There you go. I like that. Um, right, so I'll get dinner tomorrow night. There you go. Soul. Ghost Ghost? Soul fart? Soul fart? Soul fart. So, yeah, we'll call it soul fart. Soul fart. No, no, no. You're in well, front of the camera. Well, I'm off okay. the side. So um, it's, it's I, much better. We've better. loved this week so much. Um, and... This is so amazing. So, um, <laughs> Kenny and and Donna um, made this for us because mm -hmm. so Anthony is a the conductor and he's been on the um, world renowned, world renowned. He actually yeah. is. He's yeah. he's legit badass. Yeah. Um, but he we was on a TV tonight. show that that um, one, it was nominated for an Emmy a couple of times, and yeah. then one time he was not. He personally was nominated. Well, the, the, the cast was, yeah. And he didn't win, and he was kind of upset by it. And so um, Donna and Kenny um, found this <laughs> out, and so they made us um, a better than an Emmy award. Yeah. It's the Biddle award. And it's the Biddle it's award. The Biddle award. And it, there you go. There you go. There you go. There we go. It's all the lights. Yeah. Yeah. There's, even, all there's a little there you piece go. down there. there. That's good, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Little cat in the corner. That's, that's great. Awesome. So this so is the first middle award that's been given out. Yes. I don't Probably know if the it's the last. <laughs> we never know. You never know. But the first middle award, better than an Emmy. Better than an Emmy. It really is. Yeah, good stuff. All good right. Stuff. So I guess that's it. I'm not going to do any announcements this week, just because we're we're chilling and it's yeah. a long show, and uh, that would take too long. But uh, thank you everyone for showing up. Thank you for hanging out for with us on a Friday night, and especially for an extended show. Because good night, you know Knuckleheads. what you the hell? guys nailed it tonight. We did. We had a lot of fun. A lot of information that you probably would not have gotten on any no, other show. Um, especially in this series. Uh, it was just great. We were talking about plant sex and all that stuff. And, yeah. uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I learned I learned a few things, um, quite a few things. And we had really good questions. So thank you for coming out and, and hanging out with us. Um, next week, but I think I, I can say oh. this, right? Because it's next week. Is Let me check week? my calendar and make sure that I'm on the right week here. I think it um, might be. Because I'm not. Week. Yeah. Let me see. What are, what are we in? June? I June, think it's right? not. I think it's the following week. So, no. Um, it. No, oh, wait. It is. It is. Yeah, right because there. we're in the ninth right now. We're in right? the ninth. Right. So, is it two weeks or is it next week? Uh, no, it is next week. Next week? All right. Yeah. Well, then you better so next announce week, it. We're going <laughs> to have uh, uh, Ross and Carrie from the All News Ross and Carrie show. Yeah. On on here, Happy we're gonna days. talk to them both. We're gonna interview them. We're gonna talk about all their shows and their investigations and stuff. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. Um, and uh, and gonna, I'm kind of really excited too because unfortunately, I'm missing my trip, so I'll be here for that interview. That's awesome, though. I'm, I mean, I'm glad you're gonna be here for it because I know you wanted to. I know. So, so, all right. With that, everyone, have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves, and remember that never stop learning. And I'll see you next week. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.